I feel like someone's welded my eyes shut. That's because you fell asleep with your mascara on. I didn't so much fall asleep as pass out. Can't believe the noise you two made when you came in last night. Oh, sorry. Like a herd of elephants running up them stairs. I had my wedges on, they're a bit clumpy. Mm. Right, there's some fresh tea in the pot, then you better make yourself scarce. Right. Steve thought he chucked you out yesterday. He's not going to be best pleased to find you hanging round in here again. He's dead tight in, Mum. Kylie's got nowhere else to go. Mm. Anyway, what's it to him? Uh, his home, his pup. Need I say more? Do you want something to eat? Oh, no. I'm not sure I'd be able to keep it down. Maybe later. Are you going to a job centre today? No way. I've got a perfectly good job over the road. Where's my phone? Really think Audrey will give you your job back? Defo? I'm sure I can convince her to give me a second chance. <laughs> oh, dear me! Oh. <laughs> you are such a bad influence on me, Mark Selby. Keep me up way past my bedtime. It was a great night, though, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Well, I'm usually topped up in bed by ten with a mug of coke on a jacket collar. <laughs> Hardly. Anyway, a cup of strong coffee will be as right as rain. Oh, and I have got such a busy day today. David's on the course, little Liam's not well, so there's no Maria, and I just hate having to cook on my own. Why not I tell you out to lunch again? Oh, look, I have no time. And so you're going to stay in, sandwich in one hand, scissors in the other? <laughs> Don't be daft. Oh, come on, surely you can take an hour off. Give yourself a proper break. Yeah, good one then. Oh, I told you, you are a very bad influence on her. Mm. Next time, right? Bye. Right. Won't be long, Cynthia. Right, uh, there you go. Last few wages. Daft this. You struggling on your own? Yeah, I'm sure I could. David's gonna go mental when he finds out what you and Gail have done to me. Well, you've only yourself to blame. I want my job back. Oh. Well, I want a date with Brad Pitt and a yacht in Monte Carlo, but that's not going to happen. I want my job back. Right. That's it. Go away. I'm not going to tell you again. Saw you last night. Looked like you were having a good time. Who were you, mate? It's none of your business, that. <laughs> no offence, but she were a right munter. Look, I'm sick of this nonsense. Would you just go? You know what I'm on about, don't you? I've got customers. Go away. Big lanky bird, hands like a bricky. Six o'clock shadow. Ring any bells? I don't have to explain this up to you. Working in Tenerife like I did, you see all sorts. Oh, what for you? I'm a live and let live sort of girl. Not everybody's as open minded. I know David will see the funny side. Probably laugh his head off, but what about Gail? She's a sour faced beggar at the best of times. Oh, you boys. Just go. Now. Not until you give me my job back. Don't you dare think you can bully me. In fact, you know, say what you like, I don't care. Really? No, I shall deny it. And you know, there isn't a single soul around here that would take your word against mine. Mm -hmm. You're probably right about that one. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, they can see for themselves. Actually filmed you. Could end up on the internet oh. or anything. I mean, it's bad enough the folks around here seeing that, but friends and family. I suppose I always knew I'd be found out sooner or later. I don't know how to stay so calm. I mean, my heart's still going 20 to the dozen. Maybe this is my big wake-up call. A wake-up call for what, precisely? Hmm? And don't say you're going to give it up, because you tried that before, and how long did that last? Not give it up. Come out to everyone. What? If you've managed to embrace it, why shouldn't other people? It's no one else's business, Mark. It's as simple as that. That might be quite liberating. Being totally honest, though, openly admitting that this is who I am. Oh, honestly, you're so naive. If we don't take control of this situation, then Kylie will have a hold over you forever. She's all talk, Kylie. No, I think we should maintain dignified silence, right? Kylie will soon see that this nasty little plan comes to nothing. Are you sure? Because I'd do it, you know? For you. I'd confess everything, regardless of the consequences. No, really. No, I won't hear of it, Mark. Just put it out of your mind, okay? I can cope with Kylie. Hi, Pat. 
don't expect to see you out and about. But you're up to your eyes in it in the salon. Well, you know what they say, all work and no play. <laughs> it's me, I'm a bad influence on it. Oh, they do lovely lunches in there. We're just having pitter pockets, aren't we, girl? Yeah. Um, I take it you've not seen Kyla today. No. Why do you ask? No reason. She's not been giving you back chat, has she? You know what she's like, girl. She's a dreadful girl. Well, what's wrong? Has that little madam done something to upset you? No, I am fine, thank you. No, I've just been one of those days, that's all. I tell you what, why don't we all meet down the Rovers for a drink later? Uh, six o'clock, I'm buying. Mm, right. Well, I've never been known to turn down a free drink. Uh, rightly so. <laughs> See you later, then. I know it would be the perfect opportunity. Just relaxing down our local nice bottle of red wine, break the news, Jen. Oh, Ma, for goodness sake, I said no. Oh. <sighs> Lovey, I couldn't put you through it. All right. I don't deserve you. Hello, love. I've uh, come to collect the Salon magazine's thanks. Right you are. Oh, I was forever whittling when I was young. Really? Mmm. Obsessed with it I was. Once whittled a two-foot-tall Cliff Richard. Smash it. One day I came home from school. No Cliffy. So I asked Mummy where he was and she said, he's warming your fat backside as we speak. <gasps> Chopped him up for firewood she had. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I think I should take it up again. A hobby enriches your life. Funnily enough, I've got a hobby. Have you? I like making little films. Good for you. Nothing major like. I just keep my eyes open for opportunities. I never see something I like, I film it. I can show you one if you like. Uh, now, stop this right now. I mean it. Take a chill pill, Ord. Or do whatever's the matter. Now then, let's see what we've got on here. Oh, you know, I've had enough for you, lady. Go hey, get, get your hands off. Oh, my word. I wonder what's going on there. Uh, put the kettle on, please. Uh, I'm tempted to have a little piquette. Kettle? Now. Give me that. Oh, we're only having a lap. If you've broke it... So what are you going to do, hmm? Sue me? And get me a packet of crisps, please. What did your last servant die of? I'd go myself, but I'm afraid my condition is playing me up. What condition? First I've heard of a condition. Dishy Dr. Matt diagnosed me today. Told me I have amblyopia. Oh, what's that when it's an arm? I don't want to talk about it. Mum, got your drink. Oh, well, pour me a large one. I'm not kidding. I've had the day from hell. Oh, sit down, tell us all about it. Well, you did look upset earlier on. What's Kylie up to? Oh, I see, like that, is it? Least said, soonest men. Yeah, something like that. You have to keep an eye on your blood pressure when you get to your age. You should treat yourself to a blood pressure monitor. Keep it in your handbag. Yeah, where's Mark? Yeah. He's the one that invited us here, after all. Yeah, it won't be long. Sally's taking quite a shine to him, hasn't he? Oh, well, he's got such lovely manners, and he always dresses so smartly, yeah, doesn't he? Does. I like a man that takes a pride in his appearance. Mm -hmm. Word. Can I help you, love? You're looking for someone. That's never. No, it, it can't be. It's not you, is it? Huh? Hi. I'm Mars here. Room for a small one? And we're back in current. He's going to a fancy dress party, aren't you? Audrey. Tell them. I mean, they do anything for a laugh. Tell them, come on. Dress parties. Maybe I might tag along. I can pull off. A very plausible Barbara Cartland, if I do say so myself. There you go, love. So, who have you come as? Don't tell me. <gasps> You're the blonde one out of Charlie's Angels. Shush. I mean the TV series, obviously, not the film. Audrey, you two need a bit of privacy. It's a bit late for that. But why don't you come back to my place? I should never. 
Kylie saw me like this, and I just thought it would I be better. I might have known she'd be involved in this fiasco. But I'm so sorry. I thought if, if we, if I told everybody the truth, then she couldn't hurt us. She couldn't hurt you, Audrey. Well, you idiots. I said no. I categorically told you not to do this. So, he's done this before? Look, I'm a transvestite. This is what I do. Each to his own. Or her own. Exactly. Not harming anyone, is she? Audrey, please look at me. Everybody's looking at us, ma'am. I think we should leave. How could you do this to me? You've ruined everything. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> what a freak show. You wow, what a state. Talk about Lily Savage. <laughs> Lily Savage's ugly sister, more like. Hey, now that's enough, lady. <laughs> well, you've stole my thunder a bit there, Mark, but you know what? It's worth it just to see their faces. <laughs> you really are a nasty piece of work. I'd best run after her. I wouldn't, Marcia. No, not in those shoes. You'll do yourself an injury. I'm sorry. I hope you're proud of yourself. You've just humiliated my mother in front of the entire pub. Audrey, I'm so sorry. What are you thinking of? Going about in broad daylight? Bold as brass? I didn't for one minute imagine it would turn out like this. Then you are a flaming fool. I told you to keep it between the two of us, but no, no, you knew better. How long have you known? Since day one. You do this on a regular basis. I told you I'm a transvestite. Audrey's learned to cope with it. Why can't you? Oh, well, yes. Why don't you come round for a sleepover? We'll have a girly night in and swap makeup tips. I'm not hurting anyone. My mother would beg to differ. Have you seen the state of her? Her nerves are shot. Audrey, I'm so sorry. How can you bear to go around looking like that? You're an absolute fright. This gets better and better. Where's me phone? Tranny on the rampage, part two. You poisonous little bitch. You love it, don't you, huh? Hurting people. In fact, that is the only time I see you with a genuine smile on your face. Hang on a minute. Oh, my God. Has David made a mistake marrying you? You are evil. Evil. Rotten to the core. That last, somebody else seen her for what she really is. Don't turn on me. It's not my fault. No, nothing ever is. You sacked me for no good reason. All I wanted was my job back. I was kind to you. I gave you a chance. I thought I could see something good in you. I mean, how wrong was I? This is down to him. I'm only messing about. I weren't really going to show anybody. Oh, go to hell. Right. Ma'am, I can't leave you like this. Come back to mine. Leave me alone, Gail. Don't worry, I'll look after her. Don't tell me you're getting the bus. I'm getting a cab. Someone else might see him. Steve or Lloyd. It's a bit late worrying about that. Huh? Right, you are. You're shaking. Oh, Audrey, please, come and sit down. You know, I've made a fool of myself more times than I can remember. But you have just torn my whole world apart. And you know what the worst thing is? Hmm? People feel sorry for me. They pity me. That Audrey Roberts, oh, poor old cow. <laughs> She's so desperate for a man, she'll go with anything. <laughs> oh. People look at you when you're like this. And I don't know whether to laugh in your face or run away. I mean, they see a freak, weirdo, deviant. What does that make me, hmm? Uh, Audrey, I am so sorry. I just, I never imagined. I know, I know. I wanted to be brave for you. You've been so amazing, Audrey. You, You've accepted me for what I am, all of me. You have no idea how liberating, how wonderful that was. Mark, I thought I'd made myself clear. You know, I didn't want people to know. Audrey, I'm so sorry. But... I've put you through the most hideous ordeal. I'm afraid.
afraid to ask because I'm terrified to hear the answer. Do you think you can ever forgive me? Oh. Why can't you be like this all the time? Hmm? This is the face I love. Just you as you're meant to be. A man. My lovely, lovely man. Audrey's going to be all right. Do you think I should go round? No, I'd leave well alone if I were you. They've got a lot of talking to do. I take it you didn't have an inkling of any of this. She never said a word. I'm not surprised. It's not the sort of thing you shout from the rooftops. No, I suppose not. But, I mean, he was dressed nicely, wasn't he? I mean, I could have wore that top with my black slacks. Yeah, you're right. Very tasteful, really. Because if Kevin dressed up as a woman, he'd go for something really tarty, like leather miniskirt and fishnet stockings and loads of red nylon. Let's hope he never gets the earth. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine Norris dressed as a woman. Just be thankful for small mercies. Yeah, he's far too rugged and masculine. I wonder if Mark and Audrey swap clothes, because they're about the same size, aren't they? Well, now you come to mention it, so is Claudia. Are you saying he was never really interested in my mother? Only her wardrobe. I wonder if they were ever, how shall I put it, intimate when he was in lady mode. Do you mind? Honestly, who did I think I was fooling? No, no, he's, um, he's going to a fancy dress, actually. <laughs> I mean, I just made matters worse. You panicked? No, I was spineless. I should have supported you. I went about it the wrong way, I... Why didn't I just have the guts to say, yes, look, this is Marcia. It's uh, just another side of my lovely, gorgeous man. Aren't people surprising? Isn't it great? No, I backed you into a corner. I should never have done it. Listen, it'll be fine. We'll just keep a low profile for a few days. Let the dust settle. The gossips, they'll soon get bored. They'll move on to someone else. It'll be fine. I promise you. Do you know, I remember when I was at school, uh, my best friend, Brenda, were left-handed. Now, I don't know about you, but in my young day, that was totally unacceptable. Can you believe that? I mean, that was so ridiculous. Oh, I just feel ancient. Anyway, Mr. Sanfield, the English teacher, used to tie her left hand behind her back to make her right with the other hand. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, it didn't matter how much he picked on her or bullied her. Always finished up writing with her left hand. Because that's how she was made. Eventually, the world caught up with her and people realised it didn't matter. People's fears come from ignorance, don't they? Hmm? I just hope... One day soon, the world will catch up with you and everybody that's like you. I can stop. No, you can't. You've had so much grief from this already. I mean, you've lost friends, lovers. Look, if you could stop, you would. Sweetheart, you deserve somebody that will accept you for all those things you are. Audrey, you're the love of my life. Mark, we both know that you will never be able to give Marcia up. And let's face it, why should you? Really, listen, it's fine. I, I'll keep that part of my life private, no. just out of sight. You shouldn't have to. But I will. I'll do it for you. Yeah. And how long will it be before you start resenting me, then? Listen, we can work through this. I know we can. Just give us time. I just wish I was the kind of person that could cope with this. I wish I was more modern and open-minded. But you are. You're, you're a wonderful person. Thank you. I tried, Mark. I really did. I am so, so sorry. I've just... Uh... Look at the state of you. I tried phoning a couple of times, but you didn't pick up. No. Well, I suppose you and 
you know who a lot to talk about. Yes, his name is Mark Dale. And Marcia, apparently. It is all such a mess. Mm, you're telling me. I mean, I love him very much, but... I just can't cope anymore, so I've had to tell him to go. Oh, come here. <laughs> I've just made a fool of myself again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Language. <clears throat> Somebody's been eating my breakfast. Morning, Steve. Look who uh, Bob drowned. Do I look thick? The answer you're looking for is no. How many times does a man have to say it, Kylie? You are not welcome here. So, on your way, and don't even think about coming back. Yes, officer. How many more times? Hmm? How many more times am I going to wake up aching with regret? Part of the cause in this family. Another lost love, huh? <laughs> Why? Because he wasn't the one. Well, what if he was? Man. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not capable of love anymore, Gail. Now, that's ridiculous. You are one of the most loving people I know. And I'm lucky enough to be your daughter. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. But love's supposed to be unconditional, isn't it? I mean... But with Mark, I just couldn't do it. I made conditions. I mean, I tried to turn a blind eye, to accept his... differences. I just couldn't do that. I mean, what kind of person does that make me? A very human one. No, coward and a fool. He was a lovely, charming man, and I turned him away. And for what? To be a lonely old woman going dusty on the shelf. Now everybody knows what a fool I've been. And do you not think I've not been in your shoes? On more than one occasion? So come on, what do I do? You get out there. You get out there and you show them you don't care. Get out. Audrey, I just... No. Are you deaf as well as daft? Just get out. I've come to apologise. Oh. Well, funnily enough, I'm not the slightest bit interested. So, do a U-turn and shut the door on the way out. Oh, I didn't think. I were only having a laugh. I really didn't mean to hurt you. No, you didn't think, did you, Kylie? Because, do you know, I'm not 100% sure that you've got a brain in that head of yours. Oh, so anyway, I'm sorry, right? So if we can just... Right? Right? What do you mean, right? <laughs> there was nothing right about what you did. I can help do the stock check if you like, if that's what you're doing. Oh, oh, I see now. This is a damage limitation exercise, isn't it? Where I offer you your job back. Very clever. Oh, very clever. Give the girl a gold star. No, I'm just being helpful. Oh. But if you want me to come back, I'd say yeah. If only to show oh, you that. Oh, you ridiculous, stupid child. Do you want us to think, after what you did, that I'd even want to breathe the same oxygen as you? Look, it was just a joke that backfired. How many times I have to say it? A joke? Hmm? You film someone on your phone and then you blackmail them with it. I mean, do you think that's funny? I know it's not the in-betweeners, but... Kylie, li listen. Now, just listen. I loved that man. I did. I loved him. So go on. Laugh like you've been laughing all along. I haven't. Yes, you have. Because I don't think you have any concept of what love is. I have. Because if you did have a heart, Kylie, 
you would know how it felt to have it broken. I've got feelings. Kylie. What do you see when you look at me? Hmm? Hmm? Silly, stupid old woman. Hmm? No, you've done dead well for yourself. Hmm. Well, it wasn't always like this. Most times I had to fight for it. Nothing was given to me on a plate. I wasn't born with a, a silver hairdryer in my mouth. And you know, my upbringing wasn't too dissimilar to yours. It's what you choose to do with what you've got that marks you out as a human being. That is the test of character. I'm sorry. Look what I did, Kyla. Look at you. understand. I just had social services on the phone. They sent me a letter. So what do you want? A big chunk? Only I've not seen it because I've not been there. And why was that, I wonder? Look, they're coming round tomorrow to discuss everything to do with Max. So I really need to get in the house to talk to him about access. Show him I've got somewhere stable to live in that. Sorry, not interested. But I need to think about Max. Well, you should have thought about Max before you started blackmailing my mother. You know how important this is to me and David, please. I don't see that this has got anything to do with David anymore. He's not going to be happy about this when he gets back and see how you've been treating me. You seem to forget, Kylie. I'm like an elephant. Dumbo. I never forget. And he's not going to be over the moon, is he, when I tell him that you've been flirting with fellas in the pub the other night? Now, I need those keys. Hurry up. Eva, did you get that file I asked for? July's unpaid invoices? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, God, I don't really know how to explain this. Eva? I put the keys down somewhere and I don't know where I put them. I'm sorry. What? Gail, you haven't cleaned Nick's keys away, have you? I can't find them anywhere. The keys Nick gave you in front of Kylie? Yeah. You haven't seen them, have you? No. Eva, what's going on? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you will be. Did she take them? I tried to stop her, but yeah. she... Your house keys were on there, weren't they? Of well, course they're on there. Can I be a little goat? What? Come on. Nick, I'm so sorry. I don't believe this. Mum? Mum, what are you doing? What do you think? Well, she won't have gone into the house. She's got the social coming. She wants everything to look hunky-dory. Well, I'm going to put them straight. Kylie, pack your bags. I'm coming in. Who's looking after the bistro? But I'll go back in a minute. What? You all right? She bolted the door from me inside. Kylie! Why are you still here? Kylie! Why are you playing at? Because she might listen to me. I hold you personally responsible for this. What? Take some money out of my wages. What wages? Kylie! If this isn't resolved quickly and to my complete satisfaction, consider yourself fired. Oh, uh, Kylie, get out here now! Kylie, Nick is going to fire me! I'd fireball this house if it wasn't mine. Hiya, Gail. You all right? Take a wild guess. Kylie, this is not funny now. This is a smile, not a laugh. After everything I've done for you. Do you want me to call the police? What are you looking for? This is my house. Was you looking for these? It's where you're looking for these. Don't split heads. And the answer's yes. <gasps> now that was a laugh. Fifteen. The album used to let me watch 18s. Oh, well, there's a surprise. Where are you going? And they say women are hard to read. I don't know what's going on inside the head of yours, Owen, but there are ways of letting a girl down. Oh, I. But don't worry. We'll get the message loud and clear, Mr. Cold Feet. Come on, Anna. And from now on, you're my landlord. Be nothing more, nothing less. Are you on drugs? Kylie, let us in now. 
drop dead. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? In fact, I'm surprised me man man had a heart attack with your shenanigans. Seen this? Kylie! Better than telly, Kylie? Isn't it? What's going on? Kylie, you open it up now! This may take some time. I hope so. You've had it in for me from the moment you met me. Oh, that's so true. I know, common when I see it. Hey, all the ones had a wall and all the cobbles. Yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Let him in, Kylie. You're not doing yourself any favours. She's gone inside. Where's she gone? Inside? Yeah, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Lady style. See you later. Shall I call the police? Call an undertaker, because I'm going to kill her. Why do you hate each other so much? Because she knows, I know, she's been unfaithful to David. Has she? Well, I... Kylie, do you want me to call the police? Oh, God, this is pathetic. What did she just say? David. What's all the shouting about? <laughs> <gasps> Whoops. There's somebody tell me what the hell's going on! Kylie, open the door. What do you want? First off, I want to know what the hell you're playing at, and second, that definitely was just water you chucked at me, was it? Yeah, and you're lucky it weren't boiling. Hey, that's my best pan. Good. I just want to know what's going on. Well, I'm no expert, mate, but I'm getting that she's a bit upset about something. Yeah, she'll be even more upset when I get my hands on her. Mum, I don't think this is helping. Oh, look at her. She's beyond help. This is not the only one. Have you lot got nothing better to do? Not really. And it's not every day the circus comes to town. <laughs> babes, talk to us. Don't babes me, you scumbag. I haven't done anything. Exactly. What do you mean? I thought you loved me. I do love you. I married you, didn't I? Then why did you forget my birthday? I didn't forget. I just couldn't get a signal every time I tried ringing. Anyway, didn't you get the flowers I sent you? What do you think? Where are you going? To get another pan! Oh, I'm going to go talk to her. You can't. She's bolted the door. What do you think we're doing, standing out in the street, screaming like, like drunken fishwives? Yeah, well, we can't just leave her in there in the state she's in. Well, I know a reliable locksmith. I could give him a bell if you want. On a bank holiday, at the rates your ilk charge, it'd be cheaper to get a new doll, love. <laughs> Come on, let's just go to the bistro, wait for her to calm down. Maybe when she's a little less upset, she'll want to talk again. Bravo, bravo, encore, encore. <laughs> get off. I don't get it. I definitely sent her them flowers. Should have saved your money. Did you take them? I'm sorry. Did you take them so that she wouldn't get them? No, I did not. What sort of a mother do you think I am? My mother. I thought you two could do with a drink. I do not need a drink. I need her out of my house. Give her a break, will you? What has she done that's so bad? You might want to sit down. This could take quite a while. You seem to be forgetting it's my wife you're talking about. Yeah, she's the one who needs reminding of that because she's certainly not behaving like one. Do you think now's a good time? Hang on. What are you talking about? While you've been away, she's been throwing herself at men. What, are you saying she's been unfaithful to me? Not exactly, no, but she's been chatting lads up in the pub. Who? Well, I didn't catch the names. And I don't think she did either. So, hang on. She's been talking to him. Is that what this is about? Amongst other things. Right, look, I didn't bring you two here for another argument. Besides, you've got more important things to worry about than whether Kylie has or hasn't been up to anything. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like the social worker coming around tomorrow morning. I'm in. Look, I'm on my own now. Just talk to us, please. Come on, let us in. Looks like someone's in the doghouse. Hey, word to the wise. If you want to get on the good side of a bird, flowers usually does the trick. Just make sure this small one's all so you can fit them in through the letterbox. <laughs> yeah, like I'd ask advice on women from you pair of losers. I don't know why we bother, Kirky. I don't, as a rule. Look, if you're angry about the flowers, I can prove I did send them. You've got the receipt in your wallet. <laughs> but just give us a chance, please. <laughs> I knew there was drugs going round in here, but I didn't want to get it. Where's the others? They're having a drink. Well, hurry up then before I change my mind. You're gonna have to let them in sooner or later. They do live here. Receipt. 
What? You said you had the receipt for the flowers. Show us. I haven't got it. I'd say something to get in here, so I lied. You pig. You stinking, lying pig! I found the receipt, I found the flowers! Kylie! No! Get off me! Look, listen to me, listen to me! Look, I'm telling you the truth! Why should I believe you? Because I swear on Max's life! Never forget your birthday. I love you, you maniac. Come here. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's not all right. Everything's a mess and everybody hates me. Why well, don't hate you? Yeah, well, you're an idiot. Oh, it's been horrible here without you. Everybody getting us. I mean, I thought you forgot my birthday. I just... Look, I didn't forget your birthday. If it makes you feel any better, I'll buy you some more flowers. I'll get you a flaming tree if you want. But right now, Kylie, I need you to get your head together because if that social worker's coming here tomorrow... I'm not going to see him. What? I'm going to cancel the meeting. But what about Max? Look at me. They're not going to let him within a hundred yards of me this day. I mean, are they? I can't do it. Of course you can. How? Because I'm going to be with you. And I promise I'm never going to leave you ever again. And she's in there now. Yeah, David's gone over there to try and talk some sense into her. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? I mean, this is ridiculous. You've got to get her out of there, Gail. She's bolted the door. And even if I knocked it down, I'd just end up paying for a new lock. You could try smoking her out. No, you should call the police. It's just going to make things worse. So what do you suggest, hmm? Wait till they run out of food and go dashing across to the corner shop. I want to answer there as much as you do. But I just don't think we should carry on antagonising her. Antagonise her? God, I should throttle the little madam. Oh, it's one of my suppliers. I've got to take it. Oh. Right, I've made up my mind. I'm going to give David half an hour. If he's not back, I'm going over there. Well, finally, the worm turns. Worm? Oh, it's just a figure of speech, sweetheart. David! Kylie! You've got precisely ten seconds to open this door, I swear on the... It were open. Oh, but I've checked everywhere. Nothing seems to be damaged. That's because I haven't broke anything. What about my pan? What about it? Hey. Enough cheek from you, lady, thank you. Leave her alone, Gran. Can't you tell that she's upset? Oh, pardon me, David. We're all upset. Look, I don't see any point in prolonging this. I think it best if you just go. What, you're chucking her out? It's all right, David, just forget it. No, Mum, you can't do this. We've got the social worker coming here tomorrow. Then she should have thought about that before she started acting up. Look, I've spoken to her about those blokes in the pub. She said nothing happened, and I believe her. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what she did to your Gran. What do you mean? What happened? I'd rather not discuss that now, thank you. You'll find out sooner or later. I took a video on my phone of your grand's fellow in a dress. Mark? Why was he wearing a dress? It's just something he does sometimes, that's all. What, you mean like he's a tranny? It's not funny, David. I bet it is. Have you still got that video? No, I deleted it. Oh. No, pff, not before you tried to blackmail me with it to get your job back. Because you fired me. Because of the way you spoke to my daughter. Because she locked me out of the house. Because you were carrying on with other men. Nothing happened. So you say. Stop speaking to her like that. Oh, for God's sake, shut up. It doesn't matter who's done what to who or why, it's done. All that matters is we deal with this calmly and rationally like adults. I'm going to go out and find the tallest bridge and throw myself off it. It's all about you, innit? Well? What? What are we supposed to do now? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet. Oh, this is such a waste of time. OK, how about one of us starts off by apologising for what we've said or what's happened? Oh, we don't all talk at once. It's OK. I'm sorry for locking you out of your house. About your pan. 
Best, Pam. Whatever. I'm sorry about all that stuff with Mark and his dress and trying to blackmail you. Thank you, Carly. Mum? What? When it's your turn. I've got nothing to apologise for. She didn't mean any of it anyway. What do you want from me, blood? Don't tempt me. Look, I know this isn't easy, but we've got to sort it out. Because like it or not, we've all got to live together. No, we don't. What? When I was on that course, I met a bloke who owns a couple of hairdressers. And he's just lost his manager at the one that he owns in Monton. To cut a very long story short, he's offered me a job flat above the shop the lot. What did you tell him? Well, I said I'd think about it. But it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Because coming back here, I know two things. That you and Max are my family now. And I don't want either of you two to have to put up with any of this. Come on. Where are you going? We're going for a drink. And then I'm going to ring him and tell him I'm taking the job. And then we're going to get out of this place for good. Always been more self sufficient than your brother. Maybe then, but not now. He's all grown up. It does seem more together. Yeah, then there's the issue of grandkids. Do you know something I don't? Oh, David loves kids. Sooner or later they're going to come along. Are you saying you wouldn't want them close by? Oh. oh, morning. Morning. Nick thinks David might be serious about leaving home. Oh, please. It's a possibility. Uh, nonsense. It's an empty threat. I mean, as much as I love him, he wouldn't last five minutes in the real world. No, no, honestly, the boy is bluffing. You really think so? Absolutely. He knows which side his bread's buttered. More importantly, so does that wife of his. Health-wise, I've never been in better shape. Ask David. I've never been fitter. She is well fit. I mean, uh... Not like that. Well, well, she is fit like that, but... I'm... What my brother's trying to say is they've both made substantial life changes. Exactly. Substantial. OK. Uh, now, about your living arrangements. Well, um, we're hoping to move into our new flat by the end of the week. David's even got a new job lined up. Really? That all seems rather sudden. Is there a problem I'm not aware of? No. No, everything's great, isn't it, Mum? Absolutely. Kylie's been a wonderful addition to the family. We're seriously close. This move's just more about us growing as uh, people. David's lived here all his life. Yeah, and I'm just looking for a change of scenery. <laughs> no joking. He's still got football posters up on the walls. <laughs> Plus, long term, if we do get Max back... When? When? When Max does come home, we'd like him to have his own room. See? We're looking to the future. And that is very commendable. However, you do appear to have a very solid support structure already in place. We'll still be here for them. Before, I've had stuff missing from my life. Now I've got everything I need. Everything Max needs. All I'm saying is she came across as very sincere and believable. Yeah, the girl is a very talented actress. Look, I'm the first to admit Kylie's shortcomings, but this... Seemed different somehow. Gail. Ma'am, you weren't there. She honestly appears to want her little boy back. <sighs> so how was David with this social work? Well, a complete revelation. He had an answer for everything. That's why I left him to it. Ooh, so what's new? No, in a nice way. Nick wasn't exaggerating either. David really seems to have grown up. Oh, and for his next trick... Do you still think they're bluffing? I think they know what makes you tick. And what if you're wrong? Don't want to lose my son. Gail, that's not going to happen. I don't think I'm prepared to take the risk. Social worker gone. About 20 minutes ago. How do you feel now? I can want to get leathered and scoff pizza. Has something happened? Don't worry about it. They had a setback. Well, what sort of setback? Everything was going smoothly when I left. You might as well tell her. What's the point? Miriam reckons us moving out could be a problem. 
In what way? Something about stability for Max. New area, new home, new job for me. Apparently it's a lot of change, so could slow things up. And she actually said that? More or less. Don't worry. We'll still be out of your air by Friday. There's no hurry. Yeah, right. I want you to stay. You what? You and I are in the same boat, Kylie. Neither of us want to lose our sons. Is this for real? I say we let bygones be bygones. This is your home for as long as you want it. So, shall we give it another go? Yeah, definitely. Babe? Yeah. Fine. So today you're going to see Max? Yep. How are you feeling? Terrified. Oh, you'll be fine. Probably run a mile when he sees me. No, he won't. You're his mother. Exactly. Well, good luck anyway. How do I look? Very nice. Because I'm thinking smart, we a touch of glam, but not tarty. <laughs> Highly appropriate and, and very fetching, if I may say so. Oh, uh, no, I'm steady on Royston. That's a bit steamy for you, isn't it, love? Well, we'll be thinking of you, love. I am so focused on this interview, I cannot tell you. Tracy's still not been in touch. Oh, oh, nothing I can do about that. You do know Amy's got school on Monday. Uh, it's Tracy's business, not mine. Come on, Ken, you must know where she is. This is my daughter we're talking about. Yeah, I know it feels. Look, do you mind, don't you start and all... Have your child taken away from you. I have come in here to talk to Ken. Oh, I was all focused on this interview before you showed up. I never even spoke to you. I'm never satisfied, are you? Give up. Hello, Kylie. Come in. He's just in the back. Here's mummy to see you, Max. Happy birthday, sweetheart. What's that you're building? Lolly. Looks nice. Where's it going? She got me a present. I've got you a card and a present. I've already got one of these. Oh. Well, you've got two now. I didn't realise. Still a lovely thought of Mummy's. What'd you say, Max? Thank you. I'll tell you what. I'll give you this as well. You can buy something else. You can get some more Lego if you like. Build an even bigger lorry. Shall we put it in your money box till we decide? Perhaps a cup of tea might be nice. I'll put the kettle on. I can feel a snap coming on. You better watch out. Snap! <gasps> Are you? I'm supposed to do all the winning around here. Do you want another game? Where's Becky? She lives over the cafe where I'm Hayley now. Not with Steve? Not anymore, no. I'm going to be outside now. Of course you can. I say something wrong? <laughs> then why? This is very hard for him. He's lived apart from you for a long time now. Children don't have the same long-term memories as adults. Are you saying he's forgotten me? No, but um, they live in the moment more than we do. Well, he's not forgotten Becky. He needs to get to know you again before he can trust you. Not surprising after what I've done, I suppose. This is quite normal. Doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Me and David are saying at his mum's, by the way. We're not moving out anymore. Oh, that's good. You just have to be patient. A couple more visits and you'll start to feel more comfortable with you again. You reckon? Trust me. Becky? Yeah? Hey, you found us all right then? Oh, ah, yeah, no problem. My name's Richard Holloway. I'm the area manager for Bar North. Well, I am very, very pleased to meet you. Right, well, yeah, grab a seat. Uh, yeah? This is Martina Gore. Head of HR. Human resources. Us. Right. Well, let's crack on, shall we? Perhaps we could start your past experience. Well, Tell us a bit about the Rover's return. 
Well, it's a very friendly little pub. But actually, what kind it's quite... of turnover did it have? How much money did it take? Yeah, thing is, you see, I didn't really um, look after the financial side of things. But you, you were bar manager, it says here. Yeah, but it was more of a uh, customer relations sort of role. Helping keep it friendly. And that is one of my specialities. And it's very important, but tight ships don't float on goodwill alone, though, do they? Well, no, they don't, but... It needs thing... an understanding of management. No, but if no one wants to get on board in the first place because they don't much like the vibe, ain't much point in having a ship, is there? So, let's take a look at management strategy. Where do you stand on CSR? Corporate social responsibility. I'm sorry, Richard, but I don't know what that means. Surely you came across this at McDonald's. McDonald's? Didn't you work there for a while? Oh, I'm so sorry. McDonald's your surname. You see, you've got some good experience, Becky. But it all seems to be with small operations. Bar North, well, it's a huge organisation. I'm a really fast learner. Which is invaluable, but our ideal candidate will already have the hang of things like CSR, HR audits, annualised hours contracts. Well, it sounds to me like you've made up your mind. Is there anything you want to ask us, Becky, before we wrap it up? If you want somebody running your bar spouting gobspeak that nobody understands, then go hire a Dalek. But if you want flesh and blood, somebody who'll make the people feel really special and get them spending all the dosh in a place with a fantastic buzz, then you won't find anybody better than me. And um, if you want to stick that in your CSR audit and see what it prints out, be my guest. How did it go? As bad as it could have. How do you mean? He hardly spoke to me. Well, what did the social worker say? That it's normal when you've not seen him for a bit. Well, there you go. He were more interested in Becky than me. Babe, these things are just going to take time, that's all. I'm not sure it's worth bothering me. I'm the worst mother on the planet. Oh, don't start that again. I've no job. Right, well, then we'll get you one. Where? And don't say your grands. Look, when I were on this course, we kept telling us just to focus on what you're good at. Getting wrecked and making enemies. Come on, be serious. You were brilliant at doing nails. You're wasting your breath with Audrey. You start up on your own then. Buy me own salon with all that money I've got stashed away. No, no, no. What you do is you start your own mobile service. You know, go into people's houses, wear the work. You won't need any capital then, just basic equipment. A few business cards, a mobile phone. That is not such a bad idea. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen you smile today. Mobile nail service. Won't need any start-up capital. How could you start up capital? It's what it's called. Ain't no, I'm impressed. It was David's idea. And what are you going to call it? Dunno. How about nails on wheels? Uh, no. Hand and foot? You go on foot to do their hands and then wait on them hand and foot. I'd quit while you're behind if I were you. And have you got all your equipment and stuff? There's the only snag. I could black it off Audrey. She hardly uses it. Your best mate. Yeah, I'd have to grovel. How about on the nail? I'll think about it. Oh, uh, me and my big gob again. So how was it left? Don't ring us, we'll ring you. Forbearance is a great attribute. Oh, please, Royston. If I hear one more long word today, I'm going to choke. Yeah. Hi. Say that again. I see. No, that's brilliant. Yeah, none of it's a problem. I'll get, I'll get onto it right away. Right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Roy, that with them. They've offered me the job. Oh, really? They've offered me the job! Oh! Oh, 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 what, what on the... That was the bloke who said that if I can handle that Martina, I can handle anyone. The rest of them buckled. I can't believe it. Want some references, though? Well, I, I did offer. Yeah, you see, the thing is... Oh, dear. I 
said that I was the manager here. Everybody does it because you'd never even get an interview otherwise. That doesn't make it right. I know, but it's just a little white lie, Royston. It's not like anyone's going to die or go to prison if you back me up on this one, please, because I won't give me the job if you don't. <laughs> no, Mrs. Martin, also, there's no problem, love. Yeah. Okay, see you then. If you've come to ask for your job back, you can save your breath. It's not like that. I've decided to move on. Oh, right, back to that cage in Tenerife, or is that too much to hope for? With my career. Career? <laughs> I want to start up my own new mobile nail service business. They're dead popular these days. Oh, are they? And I suppose you're going to make millions, are you, with this startling business idea? Hope so. Mm. Only I kind of need that stuff to do it. My nail equipment? I'll pay for it once I start earning. I can give you, like, a few quid back a month and then we can... Oh, no, go. Just take it and go. Go on. Oh, what's all this? What do you reckon? Kylie's cuticles. What's that? Mini mobile nail service. I turn up at your home or work or a party or whatever and give you a fantastic nail job. Good, aren't they? Is my mum all right with this? Yeah. She gave me all this nail stuff so I can get myself started. Can't wait to get rid of you more like. Yeah, well, that might have been a part of it. She not worries you might be taking business from her. Well, it's only nails. It's not as if I'm doing hair, is it? Mind, that's not a bad idea, that. Hair? You're not trained. I could go on a course all summer. If Gormless Maria can do it, how hard can it be? Hey, I could call it top to toe. Hair, manicures and pedicures. No, hang on a minute. Nails is one thing. Oh, you've got to think big in business. That's what Lord Sugar says on the teller. You can't be going taking customers off me, ma'am. She's been very good to you. Sorry, I can't stop. I've got to get these flyers up. <sighs> oh, it's gorgeous. The size of it. The future Mrs Foster even has her own dressing room. Mm -hmm. Frank, I think you've bored Hilly enough now with our dream house. Well, I had better be getting back to work, but uh, it is lovely all. Well, thank you, Hayley. We're very excited. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Connor, is it all right if I put a few of these posters up somewhere? Oh, excuse me, you can't just come in here. Oh, Ailey, it's all right. Let's have a gander. Mm, well, very enterprising. I tell you what, you give me a free nail job. You can put these posters up wherever you like. Yeah, fine, sorted. I'm warning you, though, it's been a while. Tell you what, come back at six and we'll see how good you are. Great. I was hoping we could go back and see the house again after work. Oh, Frank, give it a rest. We're not cursed in, Phil. You know, got no work to do. I know that you like flaming Gandhi or whoever it was what didn't like lying. It's not that I don't like lying. But this wouldn't be a lie. I mean, how many times have you left me here on my Todd over the years while you've been down the cash and carry or you've been off on your holidays? Got it whichever way you want. A lie is a lie. You were never manager here, Becky. Well. Not official, like, but if you ain't here, I'm managing, ain't I? Holding the fort is not managing. You were even here. When he phones, I'm quite happy to extol your virtues. That should be a short call. Your loyalty, your capability, your constant good work. He says he never lies. Will you keep out of this, bother? Listen. Hello. Listen. Right. This is like a massive deal for me. It's a fresh start and all that. Please. Please, please don't mess it up for me. Um, it's a Richard Trinder on the phone wants to talk to you, Roy, about one of your employees. A very valuable asset to my business. I started here, what, oh, five years ago? What's going on? Becky is making Roy lie for her. Shut up! He might hear you! She certainly has taken on managerial responsibilities at times. I got that job what I was after. Oh, no, but I put that used to be manager here on my CV. Which you weren't. Ergo, it's a lie. No, it's a fib. Have you never told a fib? No, she was never officially manager here, but I would like to add... There's no point, Roy. I see. Understand. Thank you. So... Sorry, Becky, but he asked me directly. I'm sure he'll take the many other things I said into consideration. Oh, on it. Ooh, look here. He's right on cue. Richard? Yeah. You did the right thing, Roy. Did I? Well, I'd call it a slight exaggeration, but if you want... It's company policy, yeah. I get that. Yeah, fine. Well... Like me old mum used to say, if it sounds too good to be true, probably is. 
useless cow. You know what? I reckon there's room for a pool in this garden. I reckon you've done a good job on these. I think I'll get you some dosh. No, like I said, it's on the house. Here. Oh, ta. I could do them again for your wedding if you like. That's not a bad idea. And all the girls on the end night be a right laugh. Yeah, I'll think about it. All right, come on, you. We've got to pack up here. Thanks again. All right, love. See ya. Bye. Hey. We could still call the estate agent. I've got his mobile number. He said we can go around at any time. Oh, thank you, Vera. All I want to do is have a little glass of red over the road in early night. We could be there and back in about... I, I'm sorry to bother you both. Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting, aren't I? No, what is it? Um, I just wondered if I could have a quick word. Of course, Ellie. Come in, love. She was full of it. No, oh, she's full of summer, all right. Made flyers, everything. Even talked about doing hair. Hair? No, no, she was just excited, that's well, all. If that little madam thinks she's setting herself up as a hairdresser and stealing all my customers... <sighs> she's done my first client, Carla. Hope you struck a on properly. Yeah, of course I did. Might be doing a guest for the wedding and all. Uh, what's this girl's tell me about you stealing my clients? I thought you were all right with it. You let me have the nail equipment. You said you were going to do hair as well. Might be... It was just a thought. Oh, was it? Well, here's another thought. I'm having my nail equipment back. Eh? Why? Why? Oh, Lord. Where do I start, girl? You are rude. You're spiteful. You have absolutely no respect for anybody. You're lazy. You're conniving. Where's all this come from? All I have done is try and start a business. I just want a chance. We've given you nothing but chances. Look. I have bent over backwards for you in that salon, Kyla. And now you are threatening to take all my clients. You know, I wish David had never set eyes on you. You talk about chances. I never stood a chance with you lot. You had me pegged the minute you clapped eyes on me. Common, nasty, trashy. Yeah, that about sums it up. <laughs> Cheers. I'll tell you something, shall I? I went to see Max this morning at his foster mum's. Thanks for asking. I stood there watching this gorgeous little lad. My little lad. Playing away in this nice big house. All warm and cosy. He barely looked at me. Can't say I blame him. I could smell bread coming from the kitchen and I thought, Pesha makes her own bread at her. And then I thought, imagine. Me, making me own bread. Me, having me own house, all warm and cosy, just like theirs. Me, with a family. You've got a family, like it or not. You just seem to spend all your time doing everything you can to hurt us, Karen. What do you think this nail business was about? I was trying to make something of myself for Max. For David. All right, come on, sit down. I walk through this door just now. And I thought for once, just once, I might get a pat on the back. You got your first client, Kylie. Well done. But no, you two just sit there, judging and slagging me off as per. Chances don't make me laugh. I'll be all the jobs. Will there? I feel terrible. Don't you dare. It was my fault. What was I even thinking, asking you to lie? After everything you two have done for me. Don't. Right, now. I know this might not sound very exciting, but I've just been to see Carla and Frank. Hayley, I'm sure Becky's not in the mood to hear stories about what... Hold your horses, Roy. And because Gary's taken some time off, there's a vacancy in packing, and they've said that you can have it. Eh? The job. I mean, I know it's not really what you were looking no, for. No, no. I don't care if it's hers and our abattoir. It's a job, a proper job. Oh, Ailey, I will not let you down. Oh, no, you won't. You? You are a star, Ailey Cropper. Come on, what are you? Stop. Yes, damn straight. Oh, the Vexter is back. Come on! 
Ben! Oh. oh, you're only saying that because you don't like him. No, I don't like him, and I don't care who knows well, it. You should if you want to keep your job. Uh, excuse me, everybody, and you know I'm doing a mobile nail service. In fact, I'm on my way to a customer now. Mobile nails? Who has them? I'm the one that's mobile. Is that all right? Oh. Mobile nails. So anyway, if anybody wants, I could do your nails for you. Not for me, thanks. No, me neither. And I'm on my way. No personal light. No, I bet it's not. Come on, you're not getting anything here. Well, anyway, another time then. Make sure you tell all your friends, though, won't you? <laughs> we will. Oh. Oh, thanks, Stevie, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. See ya. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm not bad, sir. I see the Wicked Witch of the West is back in town. Tracy, yes. Which was nice, because it gave me a chance to tell her what I thought of her. Good. I wish I'd been there. Good thing is, she brought Amy with her. Yeah, I know. I'm really pleased about that. For your sake, ma'am. Cheers. Very large vodka and cup. Tina, please. And whatever Audrey's having. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Well, you can have hers then, Tina. No time. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give it you a discount when you come and get your nails done. You're right to go, steady. I've seen how your hands shake some mornings when you're snipping away. <sighs> Tina, love. Oh, cheer up, Audrey. If the wind changes, your face is going to stick like that. Do you know, Carly, you're about as funny as flu. Davey told me once. How did he put it? You were a right goer when you were young. What went wrong? Trust me, dear, I was never in your league. Those wrinkles, Audrey, did you get them from looking down your nose at people? No, sweetheart, no. I got them from worrying that my grandson had married a sponging little trollop. Oh, well, you think this is David's money. <laughs> wrong on so many levels. You know them flyers you were so sniffy about? They worked. I earned 70 quid tonight, cash in hand, doing nails at a hen do. And they were so chuffed for me to put me again for the 21st. Sure you don't want another? Hey! What thing you praying at? Hey? You never showed up. Mediation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So meditation, more like. Me sat there on my tod, staring into space. I felt like a right nana. Yeah, I'm sorry. Something came up, something important. Yeah, yeah, well, who went ahead without you? They decided that I'm going to get all the cash, both businesses, your aims, and um, your eldest set of CDs. Well, it's split the spoils of mediation. No, they don't. Both parties talk and try and work out the differences, which is really hard when there's only one of you there. Look, I'm sorry, I wouldn't have let you down unless I had a good reason. All right, what is it then? Look, why don't you come for a coffee at the pub? There's something I need to... Oh, yeah. No, I'm already late for work. Just tell me here. Look, there's something I need to say, something important, something I... something I can't say in the street. Oh. Oh. <sighs> All right, then I'll come round after work. Steve. Oh, well, I hope you gave him an ear bashing, not turning up for mediation. So disrespectful. He said he had a good reason. What good reason? He won't say he wants to talk. You talk at mediation, that's the point of it. I don't know why else he seemed different. He, he hooked me. Really? Anyway, um, I bought a paper this morning as well, so I'm going to look at some flats. Oh, well, no hurry. Look. Uh, well, Steve not turning up for mediation, it, it, it's not necessarily a good sign, is it? What if it's made him think, though? Like, proper think about what he wants, cos it has me. Oh. It doesn't mean you'll both come to the same conclusion, though, does it? What if he wants to call up the lawyers and start a over again? Do you really think he might? Well, he wants to talk to me on his own, doesn't he? Away from solicitors. Well, you have been getting on better lately. Yeah. Yeah, and it's more than that, Ailes. I still love him. Yeah. But the thing is, maybe he still loves me, right? Maybe that's what all this is about. And if it is, what, what will you say? Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm prepared to be reasonable. Oh. bags. It 
Lloyd. Stay about. Uh, clocked off. Good, because I want to talk to you on your own. Me? What, what about? Steve. Oh, Beck, I don't want dragging into your marriage problems. No, I just want to ask you how he is. Well, he, he is how he seems. Happy? He's got a lot on his mind. Yeah, like what? Listen, I'm not trying to get ammunition for divorce. You swear to me that you won't breathe a word. I, I swear. Right. Has he said out to you, which has maybe made you think that he's having second thoughts about the divorce? You promised me you ain't going to compromise me. All right, all right, sorry. Talk to Steve. Yeah, I will. Anyway, there's too much happened. Too much pain, man. I think we're best off just getting on with his lives. See, that's a healthier attitude. Yeah, no use anchoring lots of future. Hey, my sentiments exactly. Sir, got myself a new job, you know. Oh, is it good? Mm, yeah, it's all right. Just got to find myself somewhere to live now, aren't I? Can't stay with Roy nearly forever. Whoa, I can, um, I can help you out on that score. Why are you like with mice? Deadly. Why? A flat upstairs is available. Really? Yeah, do you want to see what we've done with the place? Yeah, all right, when? Tonight. Go see the flat first, and then I'm gonna go see Steve. Yeah, so I've got to wait up. Bye, Haley. <laughs> What's the same tonight, you know? Steve. Yeah? Any other day, White? Becky. I'm sorry, it's just. We have been getting on a lot better lately. Look, it's got thinking... two locks, right? It's got a deadlock and a Yale. Me and Steve once met up for a bit of afternoon tonight, and here, when you were away. Well, what do you want me to do? Put a blue plaque up? Okay. Look, sometimes you've got to use your imagination when you're looking at a property. Steve, Lewis Carroll would struggle to find the potential in this. I mean, it's hardly suitable for our daughter. Me and our baby, is it? <sighs> All right, oak, laminate floor, and I'll lay it myself. Hello. What are you two doing here? Just going to ask the same thing. Just uh, showing Tracy around the flat. Really? Yeah, she's uh, thinking of renting it. Oh, that's a real pity, because Lloyd's already offered it to me. You haven't looked around yet. I'll take it. Uh, sorry, you're too late, because Steve's already offered it to me. Uh, you said that you weren't that keen a minute ago. Uh, no, I didn't. You said it was horrible. I was playing hard to get. Next change. Haggling, you know, getting the best deal. Listen, I think we can all see what's going on here. Tracy didn't want it. But now I want it, she does. It's called being Tracy. I've decided I'm taking it. Listen, I do hate to pull rank here, Steve, but I am your wife still. Oh, well, I think I can top that. How? You're single. You're almost divorced. You're a single mum. <laughs> mum being the pertinent issue here? Look, it's a horrible flat. It's got mice. I don't know why either of you want it. It should be condemned. Me and Amy will be perfectly happy here. I'm not having my daughter living in squalor. I live in squalor. Look, mate, it seems crazy to knock them both back because, you know, it does need letting. Not necessarily. Well, can't we toss a coin? No. Do you know what? I've got a much better idea. This is Stevie's flat, so let's let Stevie decide. Oh, that's a great idea. So come on, Steve. Who's it to be? Me? Or Becky? I'm amazed it's taking you this long, Stevie. Oh, look, I've lived here. It's a really small flat. Uh, you keep out of it. Right, come on, Steve, who's it to be? He would never pick you over me. You're just trying to use Amy on him, like you always use Amy on him. You are a one-trick pony, girl. Uh, I can think of another reason why you give me the flat. Stop it! You're both acting like a pair of kids. What's she on about? Hmm, I really don't think you want me to spell it out for you. Right. Tracy can have the flat, I've decided, if she wants it. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. It's nothing personal. No, this is dead personal. You've just sided with her over me. Why on earth would you do that? If... Oh, my God. You two are an item now, aren't you? Yep, and this is your little love nest, so you're moving in together. Hot. Red hot. You're burning. I'll flip him burn you in a minute. I know you've been sleeping with her. Once, you already know about that. Yeah, and then you've gone back for seconds, and now she's got her claws in. 
can just see it now, her whispering in your ear, going, oh, come on, Stevie, wouldn't it be lovely if you, me and Amy all lived together? Yo, I hope you'll all be very, very happy. Katie, you've got it all wrong. Highly amusing, though. I can't believe I didn't see it the minute I walked in there. I'm such a mug. Becky. Steve, look, I'm actually starting to feel sorry for her. Why don't you put her out of her misery? Tell her. Tell me what? Look, can you two get out, please? Oh, I can't stay and watch. I said get out! Wanna to talk to Becky on her own? Okay. I would pick you over Tracy. Every single time. Right, to go to the chase, Steve. It's bad news. The worst news for you. For us. Steve! Tracy's pregnant. Oh bye. It didn't buy you, it can't be by you. You told me you only slept with her once. I did. But old Stevie Mac, he's virile, eh? Women only just have to look at you. Most women. That's why I wanted to see you tonight, because I wanted to tell you. How could you be so stupid? Yeah, I know. Look, it wasn't planned. Yeah, not by you. You even showed it's yours, because I won't bet anything bastard. Yeah, it's mine. She didn't want to tell me she was going to get rid. Why didn't she? She couldn't go through with it. Pity. Sorry. Look, this is the last thing in the world I wanted to happen. I just... I just can't believe you, like... Oh, I didn't expect you to, like, sit at home pining for me and that, but... Because I knew there'd be other women, no, there but... There hasn't been any... Of all the women... In all the world that you choose to get pregnant, you pick her when you know how that is going to make me feel. I wish. I wish that it was you having our baby. So, did you follow a star to get here then, Steve? Is the three wise men waiting outside because that's the only way I'll ever give birth? Is there any consolation? No, it isn't. I meant what I said. Me and her are not together. I don't even care. Look, I'm, I'm just there, right? I'm just going to be there for the baby, and that is it. I don't want her. I want you. And here's me thinking that mediation is going to bring us back together. It just sometimes, according to that woman. Well, maybe it still could. What? possible chance have we got when she is carrying your baby? She is bad enough with one kid. Can you imagine the fun she's going to have now with two? We have proved that we can parent a child without being a couple. Well, yippee. Did I give you a special award for that? I'm just saying that, you know, nothing's changed. You jumped into bed with her and you got her pregnant. Everything has changed. That little ray of hope, that that little green shoot in that plant pot, that, you've just chucked a gallon of weed killer all over it. Was, none of this was happening. Right, who else knows about this? Hey. OK, so there's Lloyd, obviously, cos he's been really weird with me all day and now I know why. Tracy. Ken and Deirdre, it was... It was Deirdre that told me. Right, anyone else folk round here having a really good laugh at me, are there? It's not common knowledge. I've only known myself a couple of days. Right. Well, the one good thing to come from this is that this really is the end for you and me. Even though we both know we still love each other. Yeah, you say that, Steve. You say it, and I can hear them words coming out of your mouth, but the things you do to me... How can you love me? I'm out of here. Yeah, I've got the call ball. I'll see you later. Oh, so Happy now. Hi, Steve. 
I didn't know where to look. Rubbish, you loved every second. Hey, I kept my side of the bargain. Besides, she had a right no, to know. No, no. Oh, well, you're so compassionate. How does she take it? How do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She'll live. Hey, I hope you didn't say anything to sweeten the pill. The pill? I wish you were on it. I know, Miss Steve. You change what you're saying to suit the person you're saying it to. I told her the truth. I told her I was going to stick by you because you're pregnant. <laughs> I'll do anything I could to support that baby, but I do not feel anything for you, so don't get any ideas. Do you want some up? Uh, Steve, remember when you said I could finish her, eh? What were you thinking? Soonish? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, also, it's pretty awkward for me and all, you know. I mean, it's terrible she can't have kids, but it's also not my fault. No. So, do we get the flat? Well, somehow, I think it's lost its appeal. Oh, great. I was hoping to take some stuff around later. I thought you wanted to give it a makeover. No, oh, well, I do, but it makes a nice bolt hole for when Mum and Dad are doing me head in. Well, if you want the flat, you will. Well, he took me to the flat and they were already there. I don't quite understand. She you going to live there? With Amy and Steve? So that's it now. She's wood. Game, set, and match. Whatever he does now, whatever he says, that's it. She's got that trump card and she's just going to play it and play it again and again for years and years to come. Well, it does put a different complexion on things, I must admit. God, she looks smug. I feel like thumping her. Uh, violence never helps. Yeah, well, that's just something we're going to have to disagree about. Although your pain, you know, your sense of injustice is understandable. You know what's bugging me about all this, though? It's that flat. Because that is as much mine as it is his. It's still marriage, you know. Yeah, well, just keep calm and just take a step back. I've got as much right to live there as she has. In fact, I've got more. Becky. What? What, am I supposed to just fade into the background now, skulk away, just wait and see what crumb Steve's going to chuck at me? Becky, promise me you won't do anything drastic. Is it all right if I leave a few of these lying around? As long as you buy a drink. So, when did you decide that he was the one? Oh, when she saw the size of his oh, daddy. Oh, I'm finally out! What are you insinuating, Webster? <laughs> well, it's not just a marriage, it's a, a merger. Oh, it's true. Your rivals will be quaking in their gussets. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I don't fancy him at all. I just think we're more powerful together, you know, than apart. Well, he does exude a kind of arrogant charm. A bit like Daniel Craig or Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Are you comparing your brain to Daniel Craig? Well, you should see him in his trunks. Coming out of the flume at the baths the other day. What? Oh, the truth is, I'm not. I'm not interested in power or money. I just want someone I could look to. Bad news, girls. Stripper's gone to the wrong pub. Oh, where is he? Bolton. I will live. Come on, girls. Don't be defeated. What we need now is a bit of Dunkirk spirit. Anyone in here, fancy? Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. This one's pretty thick. Who is it? Rent to kill. And I haven't come about the mice. Now, don't bother unpacking out else. There's been a change of plan. Look, Becky, I know you're upset. You might be carrying his baby. Close. Begins with a B. A little, innocent, unborn baby, so don't do anything you might regret. Nothing you ever spawn could be called innocent. You're evil. Get your stuff and get out. <laughs> what? I am still Steve's wife, and therefore half of everything he owns is mine, including this flat. So that makes you a squatter. Yeah, but Steve said that... I don't give a damn what Steve has said. As of now, I live here. Out! No way! Do you want to go through the window or the door? Right. Well, we'll see what Steve's got to say about this. I mean, don't get me wrong... I've just been evicted. 
Are you? Your crazy ex. She is mental, man. I thought she was going to attack me. She's throwing you out the flat. Too much stress could give me high blood pressure, you know. But she can't throw you out the flat. She says she's still your wife and half of everything you own is hers. What can you say about this? It's me. Go to L. Becky! What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm doing what I should have done a very long time ago. I'm looking after number one. Right, uh, uh, oi, oi, come on, let me in, we need to talk. No, nope, I live here now. You cannot do this. Oh, I think you find I can. In fact, this is just the tip of the iceberg, mate. I'll see you at mediation. I am going to bleed you dry. How is Aileen? How is anyone with flu? Not a barrel of lamps. Poor thing. I must write her a card. Mm. Here, I ain't being funny, Sylv. No, you very rarely are. But I ain't going to work when Ayla's not there. In my book, leave the funnies to the greats. Lenny Bennett. Madhouse. Ken Dodd. Stanley Baxter. Mark and Wise. Yeah, old people always love Mark and Wise. Well, I don't. Two grown men in bed together chewing the cud. And in those days, I was a lot less broad-minded than I am now, Rebecca, believe it or not. Yeah, 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 I was drinking that. Exactly, past tense, you must go to work. I don't want to. Well, what is the alternative, mooning about here all day, harping on about your divorce? <laughs> Bad analogy. Harps make a beautiful sound. Listen, I did the right thing signing them divorce papers. I'm just saying that I don't like going to the factory when she's not there. It all kicks off big time. Goodbye, Rebecca. Goodbye, Sil. Till I need to get well soon. Yeah. Oh, sorry. She's sick, bless her. Oh, great. Oi, how have you been ill? Who's going to be in charge? I'm all right. Oh, this is ridiculous. What's the point? I don't know why we bother coming in. Because we need our wages. <laughs> you seriously think we're going to get paid? Yeah. Because I'm checking over. Bingo. As from now, I'm cracking the whip. <laughs> Didn't know you were dominatrix, sir. There's a lot you don't know about me, is it? Hey, you can we have some order, please? Where's Hayley? She's got the flu. Mum flu? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dilbra. And Arlene's got a head in a contraption of some sort, so it's all hands to the pump. Someone has to take control. Yeah, and why can't it be her, then? Uh, she's got a name. Aren't you being discriminationary? Discriminatory. Shut it, I'm trying to stick up for you here. Uh, I will remind you, Sally has got a daughter, what's all that thing? That is neither here nor there, Sean. Now, can we get on with this order, please? Now, come on, everybody, let go. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, it's Sally. Look, I'm sorry to bother you again. It's just that we're running out of material. And, well, when that knee's called, they won't speak to me. They only want to talk to you or Frank. And... Well, I can't tell them what's gone on, can I? Anyway, could you give me a ring, please? Is that possible? Thanks, Carla. Rubbish birthday. Should have seen what my mum got me for my 13th. I was that excited about becoming a teenager, and she kept going on about pulling out all the stops. So I'm thinking, chocolate cake, right? Or a gato. Yeah, right. She only went and got me a meat and potato pie with a candle in it. Did you do? Chucked it at her. Candle will it and all. A rare extensions went off like a Catherine wheel. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to get that? Oh, do you mind, lovey? Yeah. You bob your nails in there. Mm -hmm. All part of the service at Kylie's Cuticles. Ah, oh, lovely. Got myself out. Can I borrow your keys? You're making me look unprofessional, Gail. Sorry. Sorry about this, Eileen. Mother-in-law's forgot her keys. It won't be two ticks. <laughs> what? Uh, no, nothing. Um, you look really well. You looked at me and burst out laughing. Yeah, no, I just uh, remembered a joke David was telling me, that's all. Really nice nails, Eileen. I'm nowhere near finished yet. Well, a girl likes a little pampering every now and again, eh? Every girl's got to look her best when she's going on a hot date. Oh, 
been hanging around outside the one o'clock club, have you? No. I'm only joking. Take the keys and go. Well, so who is he? Who's the lucky man? Someone way out of your league, girl. I'm just going out with you. You heard the manicurist. Take the keys and go. <laughs> well, he must have a very big heart and a heck of a lot of sympathy. Oh, I just love what you've done with the place. Jealous. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. <laughs> well, I... Well, over two years, and this is what I get for it, then. A little piece of paper with Steve's autograph. A uh, signature. What's the difference? Fame and notoriety, principally. Two years of marriage and devotion, and this is what I get. You must spend it wisely. You know what I'd like to do with it? Uh, what? I would like to take you and Haley out to tea. Well, it's Haley's dance class tonight. Oh, well, how about me and you, then? How about I take you out to tea? There's no need. There's every need. Go on, Royce, don't let me treat you, please. Stop making things so difficult for me. I mean, my... Yeah, nice one. All right, thanks for calling. Bye. Bye. What, have we got him? We've got him! Really? Is that it? <laughs> Official? <laughs> well, that's from Monday, but I'm stressing it's a trial period, blah, 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 but as long as we don't screw it up, yeah? And it's bye-bye social services, losers. Wow, that's fantastic! <laughs> What's going on? Guess who's coming to live with us on Monday? Max! Isn't it brilliant? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Tut, 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 the youth of today. Hello, Tracy. Salad balm to go, Roy, hold the mayonnaise. We don't do mayonnaise as standard. You know something, Roy. I'm really looking forward to a few days in Brighton. Steve's booking it as we speak. Nice time of year for it. It's the luxury hotel and also the below's to do. <laughs> That's if we even leave the bedroom. I'm thinking about going to Mauritius. All-inclusive. And saving up Roy's pocket money, have you? Nope. Steve's... Golden handshake. I don't think that's what a golden handshake is, love. Whatever you want to call it, then. Settlement, payoff, blood money. Yeah, you're getting closer. One salad balm, sans mayonnaise. Keep the change. There doesn't appear to be any. Well, um, I'll think of you when I'm relaxing in the spa. And I'll think of you when I'm smashing coconuts with a rock. That'll be right. Prehistoric woman. Peter. Hey, love. Rubbish line that about the coconuts won it. Could have done better. <laughs> you haven't seen Eva, have you? Stella's in the back. What are you lot doing here? Celebrating. Right, I should be thinking of something witty to say, but what are you celebrating? Well, as from Monday, we get full custody of Max. Oh, that's uh, great news. Congratulations. Here, look, man. have a drink on me. Oh, well, uh, at least you can put it towards her. I touched. No, I'm happy for you. Really. Cheers. Look, Mum, you don't fancy another bash at waitressing, do you? Well, that's very kind of you, but uh, I'd rather be around a bit more now for Max, you know, early start, early finish, plenty of time left for Granny in. Oh, fair dinkum. <laughs> Thank you for the heartfelt offer. Oh, there you are. Oh, has the wine arrived yet? No. Did you try the other number I gave you? Yeah, I know, off by heart. OK, come on. Bye. Last of the big spenders, eh? Never given me that kind of money before, but all I feel is used. I'm sure it wasn't Steve's intention to affect it. Royston, it told me to go. I couldn't feel worse if he'd left it in cash on my bedside table. No doubt he was thinking of how difficult the months ahead might be should you decide to stay here. My home, though, this, isn't it? And I ain't giving that up just to make his life easier. So you're not planning to set up elsewhere with this money? You saw how brassed off it was, though, didn't you, when you thought I might use it to go to, um, what do you call it? Mauritius. Yeah. Well, imagine if I did. I, I think the satisfaction would last about as long as the sun tan. I think it might be wiser to invest the money. What, like, pension or something? <laughs> you're right, like, that's a really good one. Hi, Roy. Yeah, just a coffee, please, mate. Coffee. Oh, Hi, how are you? Yeah, much the same, Lloyd. Except one important big, fat difference. I've got money in the bank now, haven't I? 
Steve's divorce settlement, isn't it? Except he wants me to use it to get the next bus out of town. You could always use it to get the next bus to Brighton. Spoil him in Tracy's holiday. No, then I thought you were supposed to be his mate. Now you're doing love. Much the same as you, really. Just staring into this great dark hole that used to be my life. Except without the money in the bank. Got to go, love. See you later, yeah? Uh, you won't do anything rash now, will you, with that money? Um, no. Only because it'd make Tracy so happy to see me on my uppers again, wouldn't it? I think she's won enough, don't you? Right then. Oh, look, Max, there's money. Yo! Hi, sweetheart. Isn't this exciting? Come on, then. He's a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I'll get him. Should we get his stuff? Sure. Come on, big fella. Becky! 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 Max! Goodness, Max, my angel! Hello, darling. Oh, oh, what's happening? Don't spoil this for us, Becky. Oh, why don't you take him in? Come on, sweetheart, let's get you inside. At the cold. Good boy, come on. He's coming to live with us. You weren't going to tell me. Well, we want him settled and want him happy with us. Stupid thing. What's wrong? It's that pattern. I can't make sense of it. Well, nobody else has had a problem. You've been using the wrong colour cotton. Oh, I, I didn't even notice. Becky, I'm going to have to put the whole batch in the bin now. If you had a problem with the pattern, why didn't you just ask me? Sorry, I just wasn't even concentrating. Is there something wrong? Steve, Tracy, babies. I don't need to explain that to you, right? And now to top it all off, Kylie's got custody of Max. I can see how tough that must be for you. You know what, Sal, this time last year, I had everything that I'd ever dreamed of. Well, maybe I just didn't deserve it. Hey, you can't think like that. And now Tracy's given Steve the family that he's always wanted, and Max is back with his mum, and I'm just back to messing everything up. Do you know what that is you're throwing in there? Faulty stuff. Money. My son's money. I have told Becky that it's unacceptable. I think this is for start. I'm sure she won't do it again. Oh. Um, right. Good. I'm glad to know you're on top of everything. Max has helped me make his bed, haven't you? Oh. Do you want some lunch? Oh, I'm sure he does. What do you like? Uh, fish fingers? Chicken nuggets? Don't know. How about a sandwich? Cheese? I'll make it. Yeah, and after that, how would you like to come to your new school with me? School? Yeah. I want you to go to the same one I went to, Bessie Street, just after Christmas. I've got to drop the forms off. Isn't that going to be fun? You'll be such a big boy. You know that Julie's boyfriend, Brian Packham, Packman? He's the headmaster. Yeah, he's a very nice man. Yeah. I wish he were the head when we were there. We'd have had him for breakfast. <laughs> Don't you be putting ideas in that little one's head. Hey, I hope you're not going to be a thicky like your mum. No, I think he's going to do brilliant at school, aren't you? Bright as a button, you. You don't miss a trick. Listen to you, proud stepdad. Yeah, well, me and Carly, we've been through a lot to get custody. Now we've got him, we'll be able to give him the best life possible, don't we? We found this in the cupboard upstairs. Can we play with it? Yeah, of course we can. I'll just get my shoes. Not in here, you can't. Duh, outside. Outside? Right, I'm off. See you later. Where are you going? I've got a job. It was booked ages ago. On Max's first day here. That's my best customer. Can't afford to let him down. I won't be long. See you later. See ya. Oh, don't look like that, Mum. We've got one to live in. We've got another mouth to feed now. Not today, surely. Look, what's the problem? Me and Max are just going to go out back and play a bit of football, that's all. See if you're the next Wayne Rooney, here. Come on. That's more like it. Yeah, well, having to concentrate at work at least stops me feeling sorry for myself. Nearly. Yes, all right, nearly. Sally, these ladens figures, well, we've gone over them. They're really well worked out. Your costings make perfect sense. 
Good. Yeah. I'm arranging a face-to-face -face with Ladens as soon as possible. I don't see how they're going to be able to resist what we're offering. Well, my main concern, quality control. With materials as expensive as this, we can't afford the wastage we do on current lines. So, top machine this only, okay? If Becky doesn't pull her finger out, I don't want to go in anywhere near the Ladens' order, okay? And the hours you put in on this, add them to your timesheet. Double bubble. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, just getting a drink. Midfield Dynamo, this one. I don't know where you get your energy from. Not finished yet either, I shouldn't think. Right, I'm off to the shop. So are you going to put him some tea on? Mm. Yeah, can do. What do you want, mate? Fish fingers, pizza? Pizza. Right, OK. I'll stick it in the oven, then we'll go out for the second half. It's 10 now. <laughs> yeah, guess who, too? You look shattered. Oh. Yeah, I am. But in a good way, though. You know, looking after him, it's not a chore. Uh, not today, maybe, but believe me, some days it will be. Yeah, I know, but it's what we both want. It's what Max needs, isn't it? As long as you're aware. You ain't gone. What, again? <laughs> right, go on, get out, I'm coming out. <laughs> Take a break, I'll do the rest. Oh, no, I'll rest later. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Security guard's coming. What? Max! Max! It's all right, mate. I'm not cross. Have you ever had you two seen Max? No, we haven't. Where did you last see him? Well, it was in the house. That Owen's been yelling at him. Have you searched the house properly? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, we'll keep an eye out. He'll be under a bed, bet ya. Kylie! What's happened? Max has disappeared. He thought he were in trouble. What do you mean? He can't have just vanished. What? I don't know. He must have run off. He's not in the house. Well, I'm going to have to ring the police. Oh, what? Enough social services find out. We've lost him after half a day. <sighs> we don't have to phone the police. He ain't run off. What? I know exactly where he'll be. Let's just search the house. Have you not been doing that already? Yeah, but he might be hiding somewhere. She's got him. I don't know why you can't see it. Do you not remember what she was like with him this morning? Well, let's just be sure before we start accusing people. I am sure. Did you shut the door? Yes, I shut the door. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Look, just keep quiet and don't move. My heart is thumping. I can't keep that quiet. <laughs> So long as he doesn't let that dog off. He won't. I'm scared of dogs. I always have been. Come here. How do you know Becky's taking him? You're as bad as David. What, you mean I've got CCTV pictures? No, I haven't. It's all right. But I know she still thinks he should be hers. I know she was sniffing round him this morning, and I know. Gail, I just know. Anyway, how do you know she hasn't? Well, I don't. I'm just saying. He's not there. Yeah, well, of course he's not. Now, can we please go round to her place like we should have done straight away? Yeah, of course. Oh, right, well, come on, then. I'll stay here, shall I, in case somebody calls or he comes back? Yeah, that's probably best. Get after her before it's bloodshed. Pretty woman, the kind I like to see. Pretty woman, how <laughs> the... Oh, 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 Answered by now. How do you know? Because she'd have answered <gasps> by now. 
Break it down. You are? Just because she's not answering doesn't mean she's in there. Break it down. You can't go breaking doors down. Uh, to rescue our son. Of course we can. Oh, get out of my way, I'll do it myself. Look, look, if you're right, yeah, if you're right and she has got Max, then at least we know he's safe. It's if she hasn't got Max that we need to start breaking doors down. Sally, uh, you work with Becky, don't you? Well, we work for the same organisation, just real the different levels. Well, do you know where she is? Not right now, no. Oh, actually, yes, I do. She's there, look. Oi! You! Where is he? Because I know it's you that's taken him. What are you on about? Max, he's gone missing. Well, so come on, then. Where is he? No, what's happened? But one minute you were there and the next. OK, right, how long ago was this? About ten minutes ago. I swear you don't know anything. Of course I don't. I wish that I did. OK. Where have you been? All right, we've got to look for him. That's what we're doing. OK, what about the cabin? Did you try there? You know what it's like when he goes after sweets. Right, OK, I'll go there. You two go around the back. Like, look everywhere. Backyards everywhere. Hey, look, that's it. We can't fit any more in. Well, we can always come back. Hey, we're not thieves. We paid for this. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that bit. Come on, let's get out of here. Little Max. No, no. Why? What's happened? Um, it's disappeared, so if you do see him, you'll let me know, yeah? Of course we will, yes, though. Yeah, I'm sure you turn up. They always do. Oh, there's always something in there. Yeah, this is where she's concerned. So, Owen Fisher. No. Now what are we supposed to do? OK, now we have to phone the police. We haven't done already. No, we haven't, because she thought you had him. Uh, don't blame me. You're the one who was supposed to be looking after him. Yeah, well, somebody's got to. Uh, what's that supposed to be? Shut mean? it. He was, though. I don't even care. Fighting ain't gonna find him, is it? I'm following the police now, right? Yeah, all right. I suppose, yeah. Just gotta find him and then you can fight all you want, guys. <laughs> Max. Hey, mate. Do you know what Becky is? Uh, I don't, darling, no. How long have you been here for? A bit. Do you know that everyone's looking for you? Well, they are anyway. Look, do you want to come with me? I'm going to let your mummy know you're all right. Yeah? All right then. Come on then. Goodbye. Come on. Let's get this once unloaded. Tell me now. What? You thought this was some scam I was pulling. Be honest, you thought I was in on this with Ian and we were trying to rob you. Thought it crossed my mind. So, is that an apology? No. No, it's not. Not until we get this lot unloaded. Then I might manage one. <laughs> what was he wearing? Uh, like a blue top, jeans blue top, and trainers. Jeans, jeans got trainers. Blunders. Yes, I do know what it looks Hello. like. Anyone in? Hi, yeah. Come Hi, in. Yeah. <gasps> Max, oh. where have you been? Oh, Thank God for yeah. that. Oh, Max, you scared me half to death. You was in the back room of the Rovers watching Teller. Listen, I'm um, sorry about this. Um, oh, we've actually been found him. Everywhere. Yeah, well, someone's just... Uh, they've brought him round. It's all right. I wasn't sorry. cross or anything. I spoke to Owen. I got you. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. Why do you think he went back to the Rovers? That's where he used to live, innit? I suppose. It's probably where he'd rather be, given the choice. And also... Go on. Probably thought Becky still lived there. So he was going to see her. Oh, poor love. It's not an easy situation we're in, is it? We'll make it work. We'll be all right. They sailed away for a year and a day. You know, I'd shift this lot quick as a flash. Go on. Telling people it's stolen. They think they were getting themselves a bargain. Yeah, it's not stolen. All right, released from custody. 
liberated. Liberated. All right, Mum. Your wine's arrived then. Yeah, only because we broke into a warehouse and liberated it. I hope that doesn't mean what it sounds like. No, we only took what was ours. And how long before the police come and take it back again? Well, we won't let him. We'll fight him off. Well, don't expect me to join in. David, oh. would you mind seeing to Max's bath? There's something I need to do. What? I just want to have a word with our Becky. Well, are we talking like a friendly word or not so friendly? Mm, I just want to say sorry for accusing her of taking Max. Mm, right. Mm. Happen you should. Good thinking. I'm really sorry for shouting at you as well. That's what I'm here for. Even if when I said it was Becky, it did seem like the most obvious thing. Oh, OK. So you're saying you were right, even though you were totally wrong? <laughs> Shut your long. Yes, have that. No, I just think the one thing that me and Steve did wrong, which, well, among the hundreds and hundreds, I... Like, was that we lived here. Because you see, when you live in a pub, you're never on your own. Mm. There's always people. Yep, that's yeah. true. So you never talk. Well, not talking properly like but... Yeah. Good, found you. Mm. How's Max? Yeah, it's okay. Do you mind if we sit down a minute? Come on. Mm. Wish I had a sister. I gather those two haven't always got on. Oof, no. Yeah, and second thoughts, no. Mm. No. You're better off on your own. Mm. I'm all right. I'm sorry I said you'd taken him when you went. It was, you know... Understandable. Well, it was, yeah. What, do you want me to apologise here, or...? No. I want us to forget all that. What I really wanted to say was, me and David, we don't want him running off again. Of course you don't. So can you please be careful not to, like, encourage him? Is that what I've been doing? <sighs> Just keep out of his way. And if you see him in the street, yeah, you can say hello, but that's it. Don't stop and talk to him. Sh shall I just disappear altogether and go and live in Timbuktu? Up to you where you live. But you wish it were further. Look, I don't want a row. I'm not saying you can't ever see him. Just for now, while he's settling in, can you just keep away? Please. Yeah, I'll keep away. Promise? I've said it, Kylie, haven't I? Right, well, I hope you mean it. See you around. So? So? Early closing. I think so. Uh, all right, Mum. Still here. Well, unless there's anything else you want me to do. No, nothing that can't wait till tomorrow. Night. Night. And if you two do fancy yourselves as Bonnie and Clyde, could I just remind you how Bonnie and Clyde ended up? Thank you. Yes. Oh, my word, just go. Uh. Well, it's been an exciting day. What do you mean, has been? It's gonna be. You've gone looking for her. For Becky. You don't know that. I do know that, and so do you, so let's just stop fooling ourselves. Yeah, well, he's back home here now, isn't he? Yeah, because there's no choice. I thought your brother had more sense. Apparently not. What? No, oh, nothing. Just ignore me. Why does he want to be back here? Does he want to be here with us? Look, kids like only what they know best. Which in this case is her. Yep, yeah, but that'll change. I mean, the longer he lives here, Callie, the more this will just become his own. Which is what I thought. Yeah, and you're right. Am I, though? When the first chance he gets, he's off down the road looking for her. No. All of a sudden, I'm thinking, maybe there's a bond between them. Between my son and my sister. It's always going to be there, and there's nothing we can do about it.
Grammy Dean, she's even typing a song for the audition tonight. Oh, yeah? What song? He won't even tell me, but apparently it would suit the innkeeper. Right, what time we have to be there? You're serving in here or what? I could have had these in my bag. Just because you get the chance to break the law doesn't make it compulsory. The auditions start about 6.30, so get there a bit before then. OK. What auditions? It's for kids, sorry. I've got a kid. Oh, what, is my max not good enough? Anyway, starting at the same school as yours in January. Why can't he audition? What do you think he'd want to when he doesn't even know anybody else? How's he supposed to get to know him? Besides, as if he keeps right, whatever you might be thinking. Of course he can. It hits at the church hall. Well, he's going to need a song. Andy Cole will be the innkeeper. So, fella, Hollywood calls. It's an audition. You might not even get it yet. Don't get his hopes up. What, are you telling me they're not kids back? I don't know, do I? Well, they better get some up. There'll be plenty of sheep, won't there? Because those shepherds are going to like a right set of dogs, aren't they? And they could always use more angels, anyway. I were an angel once in ours. <coughs> oi! Becky! Oi! oi Max! 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 Max. Oi! Max! Oi! Max! Cars, remember? Oh, what's up? I've got an audition. Will you come? <laughs> an audition? What's that for, then? When is it? Tonight. Ooh, tonight. You know what? That is such a shame because I am so busy tonight. But your mummy, I'm telling you, she is dead lucky with stuff like that, auditions. Yeah? When I was at school, I had an audition and she came with me. And guess what? I got the part! Bingo! So all you got to do, right, just make sure that she gives you that magic high five before you go in, yeah? Cool. Come on, you. See you, Maxie! Inside love, let me find you a place. Is that Silla Black? Yeah, I'm gonna Where kill them. I'm before you. Shut up, it's me, isn't it, Mum? I'm before Adi. Stop fighting you two, you won't be here to talk. Remember, we said that Asha was going first. See? Get lost. Hey, but it's me, you're not here yet. Where next? You should be there. Come on, ask Anita. Make it high five first. Now come dead, babe. Don't worry, I'll not see me. You can stay. Little donkey. If my mum would have done that, I'd have died of shame. Oh, we were flaming gosh. Don't start with it, Bex. I didn't say you could stay so you can start with your wailing about how I should be with you. I'm just proud of him, that's all. I'm not. I'm just proud. I want to feel that. Why don't I feel that? You will. Moon magic high five! Oh, who's a little star then? Me! <laughs> I don't want to go. Why not? Because of stuff on the telly. And I've got a new colour nail polish I want to try out. We're going to remember friends and neighbours who died. Well, now when I know died. And anyway, who's going to look after Max? We'll take him. It's freezing out there. He'll get pneumonia. Kylie. If she doesn't want to go, don't force her. Come on, it's starting. It just brings back stuff I'd sooner forget, OK? Yeah. Hmm. A bulldog, maybe, or a Doberman, but... Yeah, I'd quite like a Doberman, me. Hi, love. Been to the service? Yeah, not all of it. You know, just paid me respects. Yeah. What's that? It's a heron decoy. All right, there's some tea in the oven. Do you want to take your coat off? So what? A heron. Hold me a sec. Oh, God, is he... Very funny, show yourselves. 
Awesome pool, dude. Do you mind if I do a few lengths on the morning? What is that? It's a decoy heron, love. You said a heron? Yeah. It deters real heron from swooping down and eating the fish. Like a scarecrow? Exactly like a scarecrow, yeah. Why don't we get a plastic version of you holding a gun? Stand it outside, it'll deter burglars. You may mock them. We will. We will. Well, oh, come in. Okay, you've had your fun. Now hand over the heron. Uh, are you accusing us of stealing? Yeah, and uh, I doubt it's the first time either. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <clears throat> if by the morning it's been put back exactly where it was, then we'll say no more. If it's not back, then I will seek justice. We haven't been anywhere near you, stupid Aaron. That's me done. Has it gone yet? Ah! In two minutes and I was buying our little Katie dolls for Christmas. And very soon you'll have a real live one. I'm not having kids, ever. Biscuits. Oh, for Miriam, absolutely. She ate half a packet last time. Flowers. A bit over the top. Well, I just thought to brighten the place up. Here's some chocolate. Maybe later if you're good for the social worker. Social worker? Yeah, they're just coming to check on how Max is doing. Oh, that must be horrible. Having an outsider come in to make sure you're bringing up your own kid properly. <laughs> no one in the right mind would trust these two with a gerbil, let alone a kid. Yeah, and what would you know about being in the right mind? Uh -uh. Your little plastic birdie float on, yeah. What's this? Uh, it's a decoy heron. I use it to protect the fish in my pond. Somebody nicked it. So what are you thinking? Organised criminals from Eastern Europe? I'm thinking, is there a jury in the land that would convict me if I shoved that toilet cleaner right up your nose? Cheers, love. Bye. So what did happen to the heron? Oh, like we'd know. Sausage. Oi! Wow! Thought you looked smart. Scrubs up well, doesn't he? Just <laughs> like his mum. <laughs> and you, mister, have done a brilliant job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miriam should be here by now. I'll just go outside and wait for her. What the? What is going on? Not a clue. Oh. And you were worried about a few crumbs on the carpet? No sign of my heron in those trees, is there? This is down to you, isn't it? Me? Oh. What would I be doing with that in the forest? You think you're dead clever, don't you? Hey, please don't threaten oh. me. I might die laughing. Ugh. This your idea of a joke? No, love. You and him playing at parents is my idea of a joke. Well, did you want a picture? Nosy old bat. Listen, you get this lot shifted now. Now to do with me, mate. That flaming liar. Oh, what are you doing on the Christmas trees? Oh, they're yours? Yeah. What would you stick them outside my house for? I didn't. Why would I do that? Excuse me. Oh, just mind your own, will you? Uh, you wanted to buy a tree? I'm actually wanting to see Mr. and Mrs. Platt. I'm from Children's Services. Thank you. You're the social worker. Where's Miriam? On holiday. I'll call at a more convenient time. No, please, wait. I'll shift it. I'll come back when things are a little calmer. Oh, Alba, I'll give you this to say sorry. No, you're paying for that. No, wait. I've got biscuits. Oh. Now look what you're flipping done. Hey, get off your daft little mare. Oh. Leave her alone. Hey, Jess, you hurt your son muscles. Yeah. Well, get one to fit her, will you? Do not insult my wife. Hey, get off me. You'll be wearing your bitches a bubble hat. Oi. You are so going to regret that. Even I can't believe I'm saying it with four flat tyres. Do you know what that looked like earlier? Somebody comes round to check on Max and there we are, rowing in the street like lunatics. Don't pin your parenting skills on me, mate. I'll pin a left duck on you in a minute. Oh, please, no. Look, if that social worker takes against us... I think you'd be OK. But if this carries on, I know what's going to happen. It'll get more and more out of hand and it's only a matter of time before someone does get hurt. Well, we never even touched your tyres. And I had nothing to do with the trees. So we're just a couple of innocent blokes trying to make a living. True says. Very wise. I don't blame you for trying, man. She is a fox. <sighs> well, you've heard then. Now, listen, he didn't hurt you, did he? Yeah. Ego's a bit black and blue, but otherwise I'm all right. You know what? Should me and you just get weird and have done with it? Why not? 
can't promise any kids, mind. Who needs them? Ah, I'll book the church. I'll write the vows. I could do a lot worse. Thanks for feeling as though you need to say that. No. Listen to me, I've bit lucky one here. Don't know anyone who wants to buy off a cab for him, do you? You kidding? Nah. Fall now, love with it. How come? And it's not just this place, it's everything, you know? Steve don't give a monkeys, Gerald's gone. I've just made a fool out of myself in front of everyone. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. What's left for me around here? How much would they need? Not a lot. I have to work here too, though. There was a problem with the tax, ma'am, but that's getting sorted now. So what you could do with is someone who's got a few grand kicking about that they don't know what to do with, plus they really want a new job. How are things at Frank's? Mm. Funny you mention that, mate. You won't regret this, you know. There's a good little cash cow if you treat her well. Who is? Here he is, the man himself. What's she doing here? Well, as of now, I, uh, I work here. Actually, we can do one better than that, can't we, Lloydie? As of now, I own half. Is this a wind-up? Oh, Stevie, I'd have only spent it on ciggies. I'm off, you see. I mean, I've had enough, mate. I'm cashing in Becky's cheque and I'm gone. You've sold half the cab firm to Becky? <laughs> He's done what? The idea just fell in her laps. Steve, say something. Mate, I I've had enough, OK? You, the taxman, Cheryl, Stella, Carl. I'm cashing in her cheque and I'm history. Frank is settling in really well. Yeah? You're happy here, aren't you? And his mum's here, so... I, uh, picked up a bit of acrimony from one of your neighbours. You mean that stuff with the trees? Well, not just that. Why? Somebody said something. Are we now, strong? By any chance? He, he's just nosy. And he don't even live there. Uh, and people like him, they're quick to judge people like me. I can handle it. OK, well, I'll see you in three weeks then. Yeah, thank you. Bye. bye. You're saying bye? Bye! Bye. bye. Thank you. Hello, Bex Cabs. I'm going to have so much fun working here. No, you're not, because you're not working here. And who said you could go on the switch? That is the heartbeat of the whole operation. Well, as 50% owner, I can go where I like. I might even have a go on the lumpy chair in a minute. All oh, right, Becky, you've had your fun. You know this can't work. Why not? I need a job. What, on the switch? It's highly skilled. You need to know the streets of Manchester like the back of your hand. Tick. You need to have a good telephone manner. Tick. Need to be good at telling porkies. He's on his way. Tick. Becky, you know me and you can't work in the same place. All right, you might have a point. At last. I'll stay on the switch, you get out on the road. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Hello, streetcars. Yes, my love. He's on his way. You know what, once you said it a couple of times, you feel a lot less guilty. Right, 13B Tile Street, going to Freshco's. I'm not doing it. All me, the drivers are busy. Come on, chop, chop. I haven't finished with you. Really awkward for us. Well, it is an easy one. Where are me fish? What? You filled me pond in, and don't deny it. Now, where are my fish? I know what you're talking about. Ah! <laughs> Where's the bat full of fish? <laughs> no, not Market Street, love. There's rare works. Clock. OK. I accept that legally you are a partner in this firm. Oh, good. But that does not mean we have to work together. Are you familiar with the term sleeping partner? I think we should keep things strictly professional. A sleeping partner is somebody who invests in a firm but is not involved in it day to day. They just take a big chunk of the profits mm. for doing nout, coaching. Hmm. I'd sooner keep busy. I hate doing nout. It would make my life a lot easier. So Tracy's put you up to this? <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, she thinks you've got an ulterior motive. I have. I want free cab rides everywhere I go. Ooh. Mm -mm. Hello, streetcars. Got your money. 
You were supposed to start a new life. OK, calm down. Don't go behind his back and buy a share in his cab firm. What I spend my money on is my business. Yeah, but it's not, is it? It's Steve's business. Well, I don't have a problem working with my ex. So. Oh, I bet you don't. But I do. Welcome. Right, the pair of you. Ah, right. Just thought I'd pop in and say me goodbyes. Can I come with you? No. Please. These two are doing me heading. We're retiring your number. Your what? Your driver's number. Nobody will ever have 6-2. Oh, mate. And all the drivers will be dangling their um, fl fluffy dice at half mast. Where is it you're going again, love? Sheffield. And then uh, on to the States. America? Wow. Yeah. Good luck, pal. Well, let's be off then. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Somebody else wants to say bye. Wait there. Why don't you come to mine Christmas Day? I can't leave Leslie. And Leslie, you muppet. Are you serious? Yeah. Ali! Ali! Well, what am I meant to be looking at? Well, that big man I saw where the bomb used to be. You filled it in? I didn't fill it in. But somebody did. No prize for guessing who did do it. David and Kylie won't go to all that bother. Well, who else did it? The mud fairies. Where's all the fish gone? Well, they've either vanished or somebody took them. But I won't be beaten, love. Oh, no. I'll dig it out again. Restock it, you watch. And there won't just be plastic errands protecting them from the predators next time. I'll put CCTV in. Patrol the garden with a shotgun if I have to. Oh, yes. Oi. Work somewhere else. Live somewhere else. Don't tell me what to do. You make sure you ring me, all right? All right. Well, just take care. And you too, baby. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All the guys want to give you a 12 horn. But it's not a very good advert for a hairdresser's, is it, this? I mean, a bald tree. It's going to take us forever to sweep up them needles. Well, we better get going because Mrs. Ramaraja's due. Come on. Right, I'll put kettle on then. Maria, do you know, I think I'm going to chuck this in the back with all the other rubbish. There's no water. Oh, what do you mean there's no water? There's no water coming out of the taps. Oh. Oh. Told you. Oh, Maria, try that tap in the basin. Nope. Oh. Oh, I don't believe this. What's happened? I don't know what's happened, do I? David, call a plumber. Grant, what if? Look, don't argue. Just do it. Grill's on right. Lots of work. Hi, love. Oh, you're bright and early. Early. I don't know about bright. What's up? Oh, what's always up? No, Steve. What have you done? I tried to seduce him. Oh, Becky. He said no. Good, I'm pleased. Is this close to saying, yeah? And what have you had? Would you have had an affair with him behind Tracy's back while she's pregnant? No, I know. He's not yours anymore, Becky. You've got to get over him. I've tried. Hayley, you know I have tried everything, but it's like he has dug this little hole in my brain and I can't get him out of there. Well, you're going to have to sooner or later. They've got two babies on the way. Yeah, and if it weren't for them babies... Becky. No... No, it's true, he doesn't love Tracy, so if she wasn't pregnant, we'd be back together by now. Yeah, well, she is. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean it. Leave well alone, OK? Sorry, <sighs> Mrs Ramaraja, I really wouldn't risk a dry cut with your lovely thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am well, sorry. We need one today. I'll phone you when it's happening. I know it's nearly Christmas, mate, but... But we're busy as well. Oh, forget it, then. Grant, I can't get a plumber. I've tried everybody in the book. Oh, Maria, you better start cancelling all the customers. Come on. What's going on? Don't ask. We've got no water. Mm. How come? I've been asking myself the same thing. What do you mean? Well, let's just say I smell a rat, and that rat has got piggy eyes in a pond. Hi! Oh, Sophie, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we've got no water. We're going to have to cancel. But it's the practice run for the wedding. Yeah, we'll just have to do it another time. Our drive took the morning off. Why don't you do it at our house? What? With your head over the kitchen sink? Why not? Bring all the chairs, the dryers, all the gubbins. 
That way you'd have to cancel any appointment. Don't talk ridiculous, Kyla. I think it's a genius idea. You would. No, actually, Audrey, she has got a point. I mean, we don't know how long the water's going to be off here, do we? Well, what would Gail say when she gets back from Milan? She won't mind. Fine by me. Well, I suppose we've got nothing to lose, have we? <laughs> <laughs> We have no room. But where can I go, innkeeper? I am with child. <laughs> Mind your backs, girls. Right, Virgin Mary. Have you learnt your lines yet? I'm nearly. I'll remember them when I'm on stage. All right, Sally, you've done this before. At me old school, we did Cinderella. And I was Cinderella. I had a solo and everything. <laughs> Used to the starring role is this one. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not the star in this. That's baby Jesus. Oh, moving premises. We've got no water at the salon. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, you couldn't have a look for us, could you, Owen? We can't get a plumber for love nor money. Tell you what, I'll do it for love. Oh, would you? What, Gran? You can't let him anywhere near it. Why ever not? Well, because it's his fault he's done something with the pipes. I'm sorry. You're deliberately trying to sabotage my business. I don't know what you're on about, mate. No, of course he doesn't. No, do be quiet, David. Actually, if you could just have a look sometime today, Owen, I would be so grateful. My pleasure, Audrey. I'll do it this afternoon, all right? Bless you. Bless you. You really are a stupid boy. You see, he's not here. He must be. Well, why don't you try it under the settee? Oh, maybe behind this cushion. Do not mock me. I know you were together last night. What? In that hotel. Carl told me. That was business. Yeah. Well, I know what kind of business. Tracy, you've just been absolutely ridiculous as ever. You've taken him from me. You got your clothes back into him and you've taken him. How could you? Oi, I swear to you, nothing happened. How long has it been going on for? Oh. I mean, did it ever stop? Has he ever been faithful to me? Yeah, he has. No, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. Well, you still want him. Admit it. No. Liar! I don't. Admit it! All right. Yes, all right. Then, yeah. Yeah, I still want Steve. I knew it. And last night, I laid it on a plate for him. I said, come on, let's get a room. Let's go. Because I love the bones of that man. And yes, I would do anything to get him back. But he said no. He said no to me. He chooses you. And you know why? Because you're giving him something that I never can, so don't you even worry about it, Tracy. He's all yours. You all right? Stay away from me. You know, I've got people coming round. I can't afford another one. Well, you shouldn't have to, Eileen. None of us should. Mr. Bit. I'm so good at kill Chesney when I see him. I told Tyrone they were dodgy. You get an eye for it in my game. They are so giving us a refund. Mm. Plus damages. And you can't claim damages. I've got needles in my underwear. I'm risking injury just sitting here. Maria, it needs another coat. Oh, Kylie! You know what you made me do? Ah, oh, don't worry. Gail's not house proud. I could do your next client. You don't work here anymore. I mean, there any... Oh, would well, you know what I mean? Well, it's because of her. You're working at all. Oh. I suppose. One client. <laughs> oh. That'll be them. Oh. Afternoon, ladies. Oh. Owen, did you manage to look at me plumbing? I did, love, and I'm afraid there seems to be a blockage. Oh, you surprised me. What sort of blockage? Well, I won't know that until I get in and open up the pipes. Oh, no. When can you do that? Well, I need to call my plumbing contractor for the tools, and, of course, there might be replacement parts, which I don't have. Well, when can you get them? Might not be till after Christmas now, I'm afraid, love. What? Grant, it's him. I'm telling you, it's all in. Look, whatever you can do to hurry things up, Owen, I will be eternally grateful. I'll do my best. Yeah. And remember, there's a year's free haircuts in it for you. What? No, Grant's that's... motivation. <laughs> Be in touch. Oh, such a nice man. Whew. What happened? Um, I'm not sure. She fell down the stairs. I think she fainted. Okay. What's her name? It's Tracy. Um, she's five months pregnant. Hello, Tracy. I'm Robin. Can you hear me? Don't move your head. I need you to keep really still. Do you understand? Mm. Good girl. Don't worry. You're in good hands. We're going to take you to hospital. Check you over. I'll come with you. No. What was that? I don't want her anywhere near me.
up. She's just here. Thank you. Oh, look, I'm so sorry. I didn't get the message. Too late. This is all your fault. Are you all right, Trace? Yeah, no thanks to you. What were you doing with her, Becky's? I thought you spent the night with her. Oh, no. You didn't come home? Oh, God, Tracy, I'm sorry. Please tell me the babies are okay. They're okay, aren't they? Oh, God, Tracy. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, what's happened? She pushed me. What? Becky pushed me down the stairs. She's killed our babies. Coffee, take out, please, Ryan. White, no sugar. White, no sugar. Hey, how is she? How is she? Well, I want to go to hospital with her, but she won't have any. You pushed her down the stairs. What? She's lost our children, and you're asking me how is she? You've not lost your babies. Well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Um, Steve, I swear I didn't lay a finger on her. You try and split us up, so then you could try and have me all to yourself. No, no. Remember, I left you a message. She fell. I she... should kill you, Becky. But is she all right? Yeah, no, thanks to her. Yeah. No, right. She was in a complete state, let me tell you. She just burst into my flat like some flipping mad woman. She was looking for you. And then I told her that you'd turn me down because of her and the twins. That's why you just... pushed her. No, no, she is lying to you. She, I don't know, she lost her footing or something. You pushed she... her, she fell, and now my babies are dead. No, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't. We know. We know. Oh, you heard what Owen said. They're not safe anymore. The wiring's all perished. Plenty of room in that loft now. Can't you repair them? No, because they're well and truly jiggered. Then why can't we get some more? Because they're too expensive. A nightmare to put up, and the electric they use costs a small fortune. Christmas spirit alive and well then, Owen? How's business? It's blinding. Unless, of course, you block the pipes up next door and all. What's he talking about? I'm the ruler. Ready for the dress rehearsal? Oh, yeah, we can't wait, can we, Faye? I'm so gonna knock everyone dead. <laughs> well, that's great. I'll see you later. See ya. Talk about tight fisting. All she wanted was some Christmas lights. Oh, was that the door, Kylie? Can you see that? I'll check. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see the back of Eddie's lights. They were dead tacky. <laughs> like him. Yeah. Come in. Well, I was going to ask you if you could fit me in today, but... Oh, well, no. Hold on, Rosie, love. Um, I've got 2.30 or 4 o'clock. That's all we've got left. Well, where do you wash the hair? In the bathroom. What, near the toilet? Well, uh, you could have the kitchen sink if you prefer that. Uh, maybe you should try a look in town, then. Well, they're all booked. Well, whatever. It's up to you. No, I'll, um, I'll take the 2.30. Oh, right. I'll see you later. 2.30. OK. Bye. 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 Oh, she's looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, well, it'd do good to rough it a bit. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, that Owen reminds me of Scrooge. Would you stop going on about Owen, David? He's got every right to worry about electricity. He's safe. And actually, while we're on the subject, everybody, would you just listen? Would you just, would you, would you just listen? Just remember that this is Gail's electricity. We're running up, so just go easy on all the appliances. Thank you. What? What are you doing? Just seen him go out. Ah, I'm liking this already. People that were here last. They had a socket put in when they had that shed. Shame to waste it if it's not being used. Yep. And if it runs all our hairdressing equipment. And the odd electric fire. <laughs> Will it blow a fuse or something? So what if it does? No, it won't because all these garden sockets, yeah, they're heavy duty. Yeah. Now it can go wrong then. Yeah. Tracy in. Yes, she is, but I don't think she wants... What the hell are you doing? I've come to find out why you've lied. 
Becky, I think you'd better leave. I will, as soon as I get an answer. Just get out! Has she told you this tale that I pushed her downstairs? I was the one that called the ambulance. She could have died and all if it weren't for me. It... Why are you doing this? Well, just go, will you? You've caused enough trouble as it is. Come on, it is a simple enough question. I mean, it's not as if you haven't had a chance to leave. Steve's even offered you money to go. Right. So it's to get rid of me once and for all. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? You saw your chance and you took it. You know, Tracy, you didn't need to do any of this. I got the message loud and clear that all Steve wants is you, so even by your twisted standards... Just get pretty. out! Becky, this isn't going anywhere. You're an evil, evil cow. Well, I hope you're happy. <gasps> this was a lovely surprise, Owen. Mm. Shall I turn him on? Yeah, go on then. Hey. Oh, how gorgeous. Is that all they do? Oh, well, they'll look even nicer when we get more decorations on the tree. Ah, they're throwing in some extra fuses as well. I'll put them in with the others so we know where they are. You could be running through those lines again for tomorrow, Faye, just to make sure. That's funny. What? This rotor disc spinning around like there's no tomorrow. The what? Shows how much electricity's being used. You haven't left a fire on, have you, love? No, there's nothing on except the fairy lights. Faye, switch them off, will you? Well, just turn just them off. Just for on. a minute, love. What the heck's going on? How are you feeling? How would you feel if you'd been accused of pushing a pregnant woman down the stairs? Well, we don't believe that happened. And we don't think anyone else will believe it either. Because they all know what a lovely, well-balanced girl I am. Because they know that your heart is in the right place. And they know what kind of woman Tracy Barlow is. They'll hear her juicy version and then they'll hear my boring one and guess which one they're going to believe. Not if they have any sense. You know, it doesn't matter if I do the right thing or the wrong thing because it all goes belly up in the end. I am just programmed for disaster. That's not true. Why does she hate me so much? You will get over this. Dream on, Roy. I don't get this. We've turned everything off, and yet the meter's still spinning like crazy. You know what? There's nothing to unplug out here. It was different when we had that shed. Well, well, well. What have we got here? What? <sighs> this is so weird. I've been in someone's front room. Funny <laughs> that. Well, I think it's very cosy. So do I. I think you've done very well. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. If been anybody else, Audrey, it'd have been chaos. Audrey doesn't know the meaning of the word. Oh. oh, now. Well, where have they all gone off? I knew something like this would happen. David, where are you going now? I'll be back in a tick. Oh. You know, I don't know whether to call the police before you pay for the electric or after. Matt, I wouldn't call the police unless you want them knowing how you cut the water off at the salon. Uh, why does he keep saying that? I have no idea, love. But you are really going to regret this. Doing out there. Well, I just have to unscramble all this lot. We need an electrician, David, don't we? Grant, just give me two minutes. Oh, this is so Mickey Mouse. Audrey, I've got to be back at work by three. And I can't hang around, love. No, come on, give it to you. No, Grant, you can't plug that in. Well, it was plugged in before. What yes, but that was a heavy duty socket. Oh, come on, honestly, what difference does it make? They have to be separated. Oh, hey. That's better. Hey. Well done. <laughs> heavy duty socket, my eye. Sorry, Rita, there you go. Now what's happened? Why well, did try and warn you? <sighs> Me again. So I'm now. Oh, oh, the electric's gone off now, next door. I mean, I've got a cell up the a living room full of people. It's absolute nightmare. Yeah, well, it serves you right for letting David plug into our garden socket. Well, I'll take you part. Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. We found out about it, what, not ten minutes yeah. since. Uh, is this true, David? I I'm just going to take these towels. I think they could do with Just you come back here now. Have you been using their electric? Because he knocked the water off at the salon. Oh, David. Grant, it's revenge, right? Because he thought we'd filled his pond in. Oh, you know what? I've had enough of this. Can you fix their electrics? Well, yeah, I could, but I don't see... All right, well, then do it. And you, 
apologise and pay for the electricity you've stolen. Well, if he can sort the water out of the sound, then maybe... Uh, do what I say, or else Owen doesn't fix your electrics. You heard her, David. Right, right. Now! Sorry? What did you say? Sorry. Right. And then when all that's done, can we get on with Christmas? Please. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Get in here. Come on. So fair, girl. Oh. To read me the riot act again, don't even bother, because I don't think I can take a right lot more. Then why did you go round to Tracy's house today looking for trouble? I went round to ask her why she lied, and now I know. It is to ship me out, and it is to claw you in for good. Steve, listen to me. I did not push her. You know how I feel about children. I would never do anything to harm one. Yeah, well, you've got her to thank that you haven't got the police involved. Well, of course she doesn't want the police involved. They'll know she's lying. Look, just stay away, OK? From her, from me, from the business. Well, I don't have that business, Yeah, so. well, I don't associate with child murderers. How can you believe her more than me? I... Becky, I'll never believe anything that comes out your gob ever again. Look, it is over. Okay, me, you, the lot. For good. Go to Bethlehem and you will see a star above a poor stable. If I'd have been Mary, I'd have given Joseph L for not booking. Shut up, will you? I need to practice this. I'm just saying. When you've been travelling for days and stink a donkey, at least you can expect he's a double with an ensuite. You will find a child who is the saviour of the world laid in a manger. I'd get a shift on mine before the social workers get there. They don't take too kindly to putting babies in troughs. Oh, will you give it a rest? I'm just trying to update things a little. Yes, well, it's the nativity. It doesn't need updating. You could have fooled me. If I find Mary in my stocking, I'll not be happy. I could have stuffed a continental quilt with the amount of air I've just chucked in that bin. I thought you said you'd cleared up. We used the vacuum cleaner, but it started making this funny noise. And there was this smell of burning, so I just stuck it back in the cupboard. If you've ruined my hoover... Hey, don't blame me, blame Julie. She's got hair like a sheep. Never mind sticking her in that chair. She'd shiver between your legs and get them big clippers out. To think this time yesterday I was sat in a piazza sipping espresso. I come home to no coffee, no milk, and Julie Carp's fringe all over me soft furnishings. All right, Mum. Owen has sorted the plumbing out at the salon now, so we'll have all this gear out of here by today, I yes, promise. Well, you're better, because I can't prepare Christmas dinner with the house like this. Right. It's all right. You don't have to. I'm going to cook. What? I've just been reading these magazines, Menopause Monthly or whatever you call them. They've got some great Christmas recipes. Thought I might give it a crack. Well, that's very kind of you to offer. Well, it's no sweat, Ma. My husband's 21st and our first Christmas is a proper family. Why wouldn't I offer to cook dinner? About Christmas dinner? I wouldn't have offered otherwise. It's just, you know, you're dead good at most stuff, you know, like really top notch. And if I ever wanted my nails painting, then you'd be the first person I'd come to, no danger. Spit it out, Platt. It's just... Cooking's never been... It's not really... What am I trying to say? You put bacon in the toaster. Oh, how many more times? I'd had a few bevies. Anyway, you can see how you'd make that mistake. Well, not really, no. And cooking a turkey, it's not easy. You wrap it in foil, wang it in the oven, time it goes beep. End of. You stick kettle on, I get rested, Keith. Um, I think you need to drop some You all right? Yeah. Cheers. Do you, uh, want a brew? No. You haven't got a long enough spoon, love. Eh? Oh, have you not heard? Yeah, um, you're looking at a child killer. What? Bala was saying that I pushed her down the stairs and that I caused her to miscarry. And, um, Steve believes her. He thinks that I could do that. <laughs> well, I don't. Do you want me to deal with her? Um, no. No, no, no. I, I, I don't think that beating up a grieving mother is really gonna win back the sympathy vote. Steve's just upset. Once he thinks about it, then... No. No, he said this is it now. He, he wants me gone, so he wants me out of the flat and um, he wants me out of the business and out of his life. Well, stuff him. It's not his call. And if he's daft enough to believe Tracy Barlow's fairy tales, well, that's his lookout. 
You own half that business. Yeah, and why is that? That's because I wanted to hang on in there and I was just clinging to the hope that he might... <sighs> but uh, no, that hope's... <sighs> that hope's totally gone now, so... So that's it. There's nothing left for me. Charming. What about me? My son. The day Max looks at me the way he looks at you, I'll know I've cracked it. Yeah, well, it might happen a lot quicker that day if I'm not about. No. He needs you. We're going to see him in the nativity this afternoon. Come with us. No, I can't. J Tracy and Steve are going to be there. So? You've not to hide. And it would mean the world to Max. Hey, 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 me. Come here. I don't need this. You just, just try and ignore her, love. Sorry, did I not make myself clear? I don't want you anywhere near me. I'll sling you up, Ben. She's done nothing wrong. I really think you should go. Just come see how Maxie and his play. I don't want any bother. What? After what you did, you want to I didn't be... do anything. Right, this has got to stop. Tracy? You've won, okay? You can have him. I'm just going to walk away, but please don't do this to me. Just get her away from me. I I understand what you are going through. God knows I understand what you're going through, but you want someone to blame it in my fault. It in anybody's fault. Please, please, you just you've got to tell them. I am begging you now. Please. Steve. Best performance for a dramatic sob story goes to Becky Granger. You can collect your Oscar on the way out and leave us alone. Tell them, Tracy. Well, well, now, on, on, love. Think. Now, this is neither the time nor place, love. Well, you don't want to spoil the kid's big day. The toilet. Good. Um. Places, everyone. Curtain up. Oops. Curtain up in one minute. Addy. Addy! Don't do that with Max's crook. You bend it. It's bent already. You know perfectly well what I mean, young man. OK, everyone. Good luck. Psst. We've got a problem. What? Oh, the Virgin Mary's gone on strike. What, Faye? What's the matter? I can't do it. You can't make me. Oh, of course you can, darling. You've got butterflies, that's all. Once you say your first line, you'll be perfectly fine. No, I won't. I was practicing with Katie this morning. I was terrible. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. You didn't hear Katie. She was Mary in her school play. She read out my lines to show me how to do it. She was ace. It made me realise how bad I am. Oh, don't be daft. You were fine in rehearsal. You can't pull out now. Watch me. Faye! Okay, so Faye! Oh, she's done brilliantly. She's out. Where she goes? Hey. I'm just going to try to Faye? <sighs> Never work with animals or children. Be afraid. I bring good news. You are the favoured one. What do you mean? What news do you bring? Soon you will have a baby boy. A baby? Yes, a very special baby. Don't expect that this does. He's the son of God. And I hope she's not overdoing things. It's not under them lights. She's sweating buckets. Soon after the angels visit, the emperor gave an order oh, that all right, people but she's all right now. To the town. She's working her way through a plate of biscuits at the back. Their birds will be a special tax. <sighs> Joseph was worried. His birthplace was in Bethlehem. No, would Jews have a baby any day? Do not worry so hard. Son of God. I think Chesney knows. She's very good. For an understudy. It's such great it's most irregular, this. Look at the size of her. It's more like Gulliver's time. Travels than the Nativity. Would never happen in a Bessie Street production. Of all the Donkey people, Faye. He looks so flim and cocky gentle. and all. It was just bravado, wasn't it? Still, I don't think I've found such a bad replacement, have I? Let us begin our journey to Bethlehem. Child, well, I think. <laughs> He's very precocious, isn't he? Where was the first table in the yard? Um, may we see it? So 
sorry, I've got to sit down. If you ask me, she's taking this way too seriously. It's Weatherfield Community Hall, not the Dom. It's not much happening. I think she's very At talented. least it's very warm. Thank you. Look at her, Ellen. Not long Some after Mary all. gave birth to her child, she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger full of hay. Oh, it's your line. Until a child is... <laughs> Until a child is... Children, please. Right, go to that. There he is. Just like, what's your three things haven't been yet. Well, they'll just have to wait. Yeah. Unless they come bearing gas in air, they won't be welcome. Be careful. I've heard about methadone. This is this is something. I don't just take the kids out of the hall. It's going to upset them. Come on, come on, come on. Go with your dad. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Look, you're doing great. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, I know, sweetheart. How long have the contractions been coming? They just were. I thought they were breaks in here, but then my water's broke. We can have the baby. We'll have to go to hospital. Come on. Oh, no, no, leave her be, Owen. I think it's too late to move her. Where's Jess? I want Jess. She's got drinks and wipes in a neighbour bag. Can you go get it out of the car? It's Chesney she wants. Where the hell is your brother? I've left him messages. He, he was out on a job somewhere. His job's here. Mind you, this is the kind of father he's going to be. He might as well stay away. No, Dad! Oh, Wynne, that is enough. If you're going to go to pieces, go and do it somewhere else. I'm sorry, I just... I wish there was something I could do, you know, Look, it's hard watching your child suffer. I know that better than anybody else, but sometimes all you could do is hold around, and sometimes that's enough. Oh, 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 oh. How are you doing, Mum? I, I don't think I can do it, Dad. I, I can't stand it. Can? Yes, you can. Oh. Listen, listen, it's pretty much a due date anyway. I don't know what she's doing. You're as hard as they come, you are, eh? Becky? Becky? Yeah. Becky? Yes. It's me. Uh, the downstairs door was ajar. I, I, I just wanted to make sure that you, you were all right. Well, I guess that sort of answers your question, doesn't it? But, Bryson? You don't have to worry about me anymore. What are you doing? I'm doing what I should have done a very long time ago. I'm so finished here. You're not, not, you're not thinking straight. You're drunk? No, nope. sometimes the drink makes you see things more clearly. But the majority of the time gravely impairs one's judgment. Why, why don't we adjourn to the cafe no. and try and establish which is the case? No, no, I am going. But, yeah, but perhaps you are, but... Half an hour, a cup of tea, it's hardly going to make any difference, is it? And if nothing else, I, I'm sure Haley would want the opportunity to say goodbye. <laughs> All right, then. Bumbly. But please, I'm just half an hour and then I've got to go. Whatever you see fit. I'll take this. <laughs> no, Pete. How is she? Fast asleep when I looked in. It's good she's getting some respite. I've one of us is. I made you a chamomile. Thank you. Becky's not equipped to cross swords with Tracy Barlow. She, she has a heart. Yeah, look at the trouble it's caused her. Things it's driven her to. Uh, her mistakes have all been honest ones. She has more sinned against than sinning. Maybe. I detect a note of equivocation in your voice. Whatever Tracy's done, she's paid too high a price. 
I don't dispute that, but that is no excuse for the, the slander that she's perpetrated against Becky. If she has. What are you suggesting? Look, I told you what Becky said about the twins, that if they were out of the way, she and Steve could... Uh, but, uh, and on the strength of that, she's pushed a pregnant woman down a flight of stairs. It's not so long ago she was swinging a sledgehammer around Tracy's living room, Roy. She is prone to, to, to explosions, yes, but this is something entirely different. It's a calculated deceit. Steve's the love of her life. She doesn't want to lose him. Neither does Tracy. She wants Becky gone. And if she has to lie to achieve that end, then, well, so be it. It's what she does. Look at what she was prepared to visit on us. Mm. On Claire Peacock. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... No, it's... but, Hayley, I'll take Becky's word ahead of Tracy Barlow's without exception. And frankly, I am disappointed that you should even entertain the idea of doing differently. Do you think this is easy for me? You're the logical one, Roy. I I'm just trying to look at the facts. Yeah, well... Facts have their place, Haley. but there is a time for faith. And on this occasion, my faith in Becky is unshakable. Thank you, Royston. We're just walking up. I know. I heard every word and I'll never forget them. She was only repeating what you said. She was calling me a liar. No, 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 no. I, I just said that you were desperate. Well, if I wasn't before, I am now. You just took away the last thing I could rely on. Please, don't say that. I am not the liar, Haley. The last five years, you were me. This, this is the lie. I thought you knew me. <laughs> I trusted you. Oh, man, is there no one who won't let me down? <laughs> Oh, I, I loved you. I loved you, Mother, you. I am, Mom, don't! I am so sick of hearing people say that to me because it's never true. <sighs> the amount of times I have stuck up for you, I have, both of you, there ain't nothing I wouldn't have done for you, and now, and I need you the most, you do this. Becky, please, no. please! No. Oh, ow! Really? Are you all right? Get up, Fine, it's nothing. Are you all right? You're uh, bleeding. Stop I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push you uh, in. Is this what it was like? For Tracy? No. No, it wasn't. I... Royston. Yeah, perhaps you should just go and now. Oh, <laughs> Everyone, Baby Brown is now receiving visitors. Hello. Well, we'll go give a quick hello, then we'll get off. Yeah? Yeah, well, hold on, I need to worry with Emily first. Emily? Yeah, she wants to cook a few Christmas dinners in her time. Never mind a turkey. I bet she stuffed a pterodactyl. Emily? Yes? Cooking a turkey. Out the wrapper, into the oven, pass down the applesauce, yeah? Oh, well, not quite. It's rather more complicated. I told you. Well, to start with, you, you need to remove the bird's um, giblets. It's what? Giblets. Um, they come in a little bag. It's the turkey's insides. The neck's in there as well. Oh, gross. What would you do with that? I reckon it's past surgery. Well, some people make gravy with them. Well, some people are disgusting. I must admit, I always ask Ernest to take them out. Ah, I'm liking your style there, Emily. That's your job, matey.